Regis has summoned 14 Grey Bows this game. Chat says he'll need another 49 to win. But does he know about his opponent's Denathrius? Find out next time on Regis Kilburn. I kind of want to do the big Elise. I want to do like big Death Rattle Elise, maybe. You got Staff of Renewal. Is that actually even the pick though, or do you just want Adara for removal, I wonder? Because like this is the big Death Rattle, you know, crazy big Death Rattle monster play, but at the same time, Adara is just really good, right? Probably gonna take Adara. All right, so I wanted to make a big Death Rattle deck. Basically, we got some good new Death Rattle synergies for Druid I want to explore. Cecily, we got the Death Blossom Womper, and we got Hedge Maze. I'm not actually sure Hedge Maze will really be worth it here, but ah, we're going to take it anyway. I also think I want to infuse some ramp in here so we can cheat out these bigger cards sooner. So we're going to want some ramp cards. I don't know exactly which ones we want, but some sequence of ramp for sure. We're going to want Death Rattle Synergies and Priest. Including probably a Zyrella. I don't think we're gonna run quest. Hopefully with hero power and just you know other defensive plays, we'll have plenty of ways to get the cool big death rattle payoffs that we're looking for. So Cecily definitely doesn't want us having too many cheap minions, right? We need to make sure we have early game and late game, but nothing too too cheap. Death Rattle Tree Boy. Oh, a Grey Bow actually would. Yeah, I'm cool with Grey Bow. Yeah, I think Grey Bow is really cool to have in these kinds of decks for sure. Mita is infinite value, which is nice. What am I cutting now? Innervate? Innervate seems really important with all these A drops. If I grab a Mita, maybe I can dip out of like Moarg. Or maybe Light Shower since it's six. We have life gain off of the Moarg and hero power. Zyrella and Guff can both heal a little bit. Is this actually a problem, by the way? Do we hate that we have Zyrella and Guff? I don't personally hate that, but. I think they're just played at different times and do different things, right? Like get use Guff to get to like 14 mana or something. Well, he, he sets it to 20, so we can we can still play Zyrella after. I think it's fine to have both. I've just been in a post expansion schedule where I have to spend all morning editing videos. So I'm never done with all my daytime stuff until nighttime where I stream. So no, stay tuned. Uh, David has pumpkins with the 18 months. Somebody's barking up the wrong tree. I can't wait to hear that a thousand times. It's going to be really fun. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You keep the 20 mana cap. Exactly. It's it's set. So we can play Zyrella after. It's no big deal. Uh, okay. Is this too greedy? Yes, but will we be able to stabilize anyway? Maybe. Maybe. Do I need to run any kind of just like early removal card? Like, you know, for instance, can we beat Rush Warrior like this? So I need to run Condemns. Is this too much top end greed? Like, can I drop a Moarg maybe? Can I drop a greedy sprite? Should I run a condemn? Should I run more removal cards? Should I run a should I run a shard? These are the questions. Cause this stuff's really good against like Rush Warrior, which we see a lot. I don't know. Let's try it. It's greedy, but let's try it. it I, I worry this is greedy. We're gonna need a good matchup early. I, I think this in particular is the worst card in the deck right now for duels, but I just want to play it because it's new, right? I'm basically saying this is not the right card to play, but it's it's duels and I want to try new stuff in duels. So we're gonna play Hedge Maze. We'll see if it, we regret it, but. We probably will. Let's actually just hard mulligan for all ramp here. This is gonna be a very quick, very aggressive start. So let's find wild growth is good. Adara might help us stabilize a bit. Yeah, okay. So yeah, let's see heads. I've, I don't even think I've really played hedge maze in, in standard maybe. I think maybe we did any pre-release just very briefly, but not since not since release for sure. Ooh, C'Thun, okay. It's a little spooky, but I bet we can still get through the C'Thun stuff, okay. Like if C'Thun comes out, will I have over 30 health and or minions on board, right? Probably. We kept the Moark, so that's a lot of extra life. If we tossed this, I'd be more worried. Of course we have to get there in time, but. <laughs> so do we Sprite first or Wild Growth first? I guess we, the Sprite is pretty much always gonna die, right? So I think we Sprite first. The difference is they may not kill it for me. I may have to kill it myself, right? That changes things a little bit. It's always going hero power, isn't it? Oh my god, Lore Walker Cho. What is happening, dude? Okay. I'm definitely gonna wild growth first with Cho out there because I mean, I can't trade in the sprite to Cho. I mean, I guess if there's a different minion, I'll have to think about it again, but. I. 
<laughs> I don't know what's happening, dude. <laughs> okay, yeah, definitely wild growth because Guff is so insane now. I don't know what is happening. I hope they wild growth. I mean, if they're if they're taking the time to wild growth, I think that's gonna be great for me, right? <sighs> dude, they're just going for like the anti-fatigue plan, I guess. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I love it though. Yeah, they're playing the wild growth. Excellent. Okay, I could just wild growth the game, but I don't really want to. We just guff. I mean, surely I can win before fatigue becomes a concern, right? Like, I'll just get a monster board of stuff, and... I can also make 15 as well, so I can't really lose the fatigue even. I have this as well. Impressive. What am I saying? I really can't lose. There's no way. I mean, they're still gonna have more than me because of Cthune, but... That's not how I'm gonna ever lose the game. I'll have plenty of time. Oh, direct the... What is happening, dude? I don't know what is going on anymore. Oh, I could also just get a bigger deck off of Dara, too. It's another way to gain tons of stuff. This hits either Moarg, Undying Disciple. Yeah, those are both really good, right? I was going to go Mita, but maybe we just go this guy instead. Undying Disciple is insane with this guy in particular, and Moarg is absolutely not terrible either. So this is just a board wipe as soon as they clear it now, basically. Okay. This is literally just a shuffle everything into your deck. Deck. Is every card is just shuffling garbage into his deck. Dude, it's crazy. I love it. I think we'll just go face, right? He's gonna burn cards for me though, man. Maybe that's secretly his plan is to like make me burn a bunch of cards, but I'll just hit face. I'm not that worried about it right now. I'll probably just play Mita. Maybe a Grey Bow even. Oh. Oh. Oof! Maybe it's just Disciple, actually. Loktar Ogar. Let's just go Cecily into Moarg already and just start hitting face. It's okay. Is this why you draw a Death Rattle minion? Oh, it's gotta die. I'm, I'm so stupid. I was thinking it was gonna go off immediately, but I'm so dumb. But yeah, this is a good plan anyway. Uh... Okay, so we might actually burn another card here again. Yeah, I dude, do this, do this show, dude. Okay, dude, I guess I'm not actually gonna get the minion, but that's okay too. We'll just kill a couple and hit face again and just keep our plan going here. This, dude, this Lorakin show is it's, it's so ridiculous. I'm getting hard countered, man. Jeez. Absolutely wrecked. Dang it, dude, my Moarg is dead. I'm actually ruining my amulet a little bit i have to i have to get this in play i'm gonna dump the innervate too now because obviously i'm losing all this is dude what is happening it's actually working dude i'm fumbling under the pressure here this is ridiculous i gotta kill the cho next turn man i gotta kill the cho i it's I'm just dude no He's not got any space left. He doesn't. If he does, I'm just gonna get. Yeah, okay. They don't have any lethals yet, right? I mean, I could find one actually. Oh my god, dude, he he's actually done it. Uh, I only need six damage, right? So there's a decent chance this is just lethal. But uh, let's go ahead and do this first. Make some. Well, no, I don't do that because Cho's still alive. Okay, let's just do this first. It's fine. I'm not gonna go for lethal this turn. It's okay. Get out of here, bro. I'm so sick of you. I'm so sick of you. Get out of here. Okay. This guy deserves to win, honestly. If I wasn't so desperate for duels wins, I would just concede this one, but he deserves to win, dude. He might, I might be dead, who knows? There could be like savage or shenanigans. Who knows? Seems like it's gonna be tough to get through all this, but what do I know? Oh my god, dude, stubborn gastropod, are you kidding me? Thankfully, Adara takes care of all this. Oh. Okay. Well. Oh. This also works. <laughs> I don't know what is happening. Dude, this almost worked. Like, this was actually such a ridiculous, sick plan. I wanna play a mill. Mill Drek'thar, dude. Hey, look at this. Huh. Runs low. May the sun. I... 
Hats off indeed, dude. Heroic duels queuing this up is respect. Hard respect. I am not mad at all. Okay, Crystal Gym does let me sometimes get a three cost ramp card out faster. It lets me hero power turn one for card draw, which isn't bad. Hold the line. We do have a fair number of taunts, but I just don't think the plus three attack on defense matters at all. They all have sort of sufficiently high attack. This is the only card I would be really excited about for it. Grey Bow is a little better, but I think Crystal Gem's upside is too high. It's basically a free card and sometimes insane ramp advantages. So, yeah. The plus three is just not meaningful enough. So here's some interesting Reborn slash Death Rattle. Here's a decent little Death Rattle-y defensive package. Ritual is actually pretty insane for some of our cards, you know, Grey Bow and stuff. And, well, any of these Death Rattles, really. Psycho Pomp also has some great res targets. Even early, like a greedy sprite, you know, the turn after would actually be pretty sick. I, I don't love the cheat minions for Cecily, but I'm not going to not pick cards only because of Cecily, right? Like, these are still pretty high quality. It might be nice to have some cheaper, flexible plays, too. I noticed last game already, like, we were playing one card per turn only ever. Having a one mana thing to kind of weave in might be nice on occasion. Grand Mummy's fine on turn one. We'll get that rolling. Uh, okay. Not the best hand. No ramp. I think we're still fine to play this on one, though, just to get it out. Embalming Ritual. Mummy needs, needs five more minutes. Wow, yeah, what an interesting name. Yeah, you guys spotted it right away. You guys did not miss one second of that name. Good job. Man, still no good ramp. Jeez. Terrible hand. Actually, just terrible. Four, three of the most expensive cards in the deck already, right? Three of four. Innervate could be sick. Am I better off actually healing the minion? Yeah, always. Probably always. My instinct is heal face, but the minion's always better. That said, they, they likely don't really want to be hero powering again, so. They are, though. They don't care. They don't care. They have no fear. Great. Excellent. Well done, sir. Hero power this one, bro. <laughs> now I need you to hero power, please. <laughs> please. Please hero power this one. Please, please. Thank you. Thank you. Taking some damage, but I think it's worth it, right? Gonna be making some monster plays here in a second. Graveyard already is nuts. Yeah, let's go Cecily first and foremost. There's not really any terrible rolls right now. You know, Psycho Pomp's probably the worst roll, but... It's okay. Dude, she has a crazy voice. I've never heard her voice on I don't guess. Never processed it anyway. That's wild. So... Okay, best rule here obviously would be Forge Fiend. I even kind of already wouldn't mind the life gain a little bit. Uh, Hero Power Whomper is a fine backup plan. This would also be good for Forge Fiend, I guess, so. Thankfully, these aren't too scary if we have a big wall of taunts, but, you know, I gotta get the wall of taunts first. Oh god, okay, they're scary already. I take it back. <laughs> Very scared. <laughs> I hear got everything I said. Um... Okay, man, I don't know if I can trust this. This may not be enough. Because if they clear the taunt with a normal card, you know, I mean, it's an 8-8. That's not that big, I guess. It's big, but I don't know. Between the taunt and, well, I don't know. Disciple just feels really weak, right? They don't really ever hit the Disciple, though, usually, do they? I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take the risk think you know what i would play i would play adara if i got it right now i would also play gray bow i would also play hedge maze i'm gonna i'm gonna trade first i think they could easily remove this and hit me for eight right it's not that crazy torch alone almost gets there i think i have to be a little careful hedge maze is worth it yeah this draws well sometimes things i don't care that much about moarg is really the best draw here Sure. You thought I was talking about the other trade. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I've been trading with the minion, not trade the card. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? No nature spells, huh? Wow. 
Well, hopefully we're not dead. I don't know. This was definitely... I wanted the Moarg, right? Grey Bow wanted a taunt. Even Nita would help me stabilize next turn, but decent chance we're dead here, unfortunately. Took a little bit of a high roll play instead of a... Uh, it's exactly what we talked about. Took a little bit of a high roll play as opposed to a... Safety play, right? So Zyrella now seems a lot better, but so does Stoneborn. But, you know... They have seven mana to deal seven damage, so I don't know. Zyrella seems important to me. Zyrella has Greedy Sprite, which doesn't do anything. Zyrella has, of Are course, Cecily, not? which draws either Graybow, Psychopomp, or Moarg. Psychopomp would be pretty insane with Cecily, but not Greedy Sprite. Could take kind of a safer line, right, and just play like a Taunt and a Heal and a Heal. Could actually just take Guff uh disciple as well that's not bad either because it's a heal off guff and a disciple the disciple hopefully keeps me alive a little bit and, and of course mita too but yeah i like this better this this certainly juices up the zyrella a lot more as well which is important okay this looks really strong to me because we, we we control against the minion a little bit better we still heal five which is meaningful and you know we, we present life stealing board too which is cool and now either Adara or Zyrella are both going to be insane. Okay. Well, at least I got rid of the 8-8 the problem, right? I can live with that, I think. Okay. So, yeah, this is just a Grey Bow, right? I would do Moarg, but I don't freaking have him. I think Grey Bow, Hero Power, Mita, and activate the Grey Bow is fine, right? The Grey Bow... I don't want to play the Mita first because I want the Grey Bow on the Grey Bow, right? Oh, yeah, Death Blossom does always get Moarg. That's true, too. Death Blossom, Grey Bow's also pretty nice, isn't it? Because I can guarantee the eight. Heal eight's probably better than an extra Grey Bow, actually. Yeah, I do like this better. I do like this better. Owl incoming? Iron Beak Owl? It's not the end of the world, I guess. It would still be sort of surprised to see an Iron Beak Owl, perhaps, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Okay. Just need to get 12, right? We're not we're not asking for miracles here. So we just kind of need one good minion board to stick. Oh, you mean parrot incoming. You didn't mean owl. <laughs> yeah, parrot makes more sense. Yeah, how do I ever Okay, so actually I need to Zyrella now to just hero power them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. We just Zyrella to hero power them now because they just play Owl every turn, right? So, yeah. So I just have to hero power them down. You guys keep saying Owl. It's not an Owl. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you guys know what birds are? <laughs> there are multiple people calling it an Owl. I don't think you guys know what birds are. Have you ever seen a bird before? <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen a bird, guys. I am out of cards. So, actually, oh, now that I, these orders have been terrible, dude. If my hand were full, I need I need 5 turns to win though. Am I going to live that long? I don't know. Maybe. How much damage does he have other than Torch? You wish to match with oh god, that's a lot more too. I'm running out of it's, a, it's a two can. Are they also going into Fatigue though? Does that help me? That changes my, that, that changed my clock, but also Fatigue could maybe change my clock again. I really wish I could keep my hand full here. I can, if they play a bunch of stuff, I can Adara it to stop taking fatigue, right? <sighs> can I kill off Amida anyway? There's no way for me to kill this, right? Why does hand need to be full so that death rattles activate instead of the death rattle getting bounced back to my hand? Like if I play this and I have nine cards and he, he evolved, he, he, uh, oh, but if I use Psycho Pump, actually, that's two minions. So I could Psycho Pump Mita the and then the Mita will be returned back to hand, right? or will die and won't return back to hand, which will put it back in the deck, right? I think. I'm out of cards. So they're also in fatigue. So if he vanishes here, these two get vanished back to hand. 
This one dies, goes into the deck. I have infinite meters, maybe. They can kill the... Stay where you are. Okay. That's a different... Okay, they're smart. They know. They see it. They see it. They know. They really need to kill these? Aren't they just vanishing these? I don't understand. I thought they just infinitely vanished. Did they screw it up or anything, right? No? In death, I've mastered the art of penalty. Oh. They still have the vanish up though, right? They didn't break the vanish chain. Forgot they had infinite cards with torch, by the way. That's so stupid. So I could take these and put them in my deck. Draka gives me a little bit of bonus damage, but it's never really enough, right? Do I need to greed an additional... Are they going to replay the Draka? Or is this the best time to do this? I mean, this comes back in my hand if they vanish anyway, right? So might as well try. Uh, this is heal. That's three minions. Actually, yeah, I could put another one back. It might die. If they go for the Vanish here, do I want the Moarg to die or the Greybow to die? This bounces, this bounces, this bounces. Well, if I play a card, I'm going to burn one of those, but that's fine. It's just about the fatigue count. I guess gaining a little life here would be good. I don't know. I'm not sure. They're going to hit for five plus two. Oh, I actually have four spots in hand still. This didn't matter. Oh, shoot. I'm dumb. <laughs> I, thought I, had, I thought I had it. It doesn't matter. It's the same as not playing it, so it's all good. See, we're really running out of time now because this deals eight and I am at nine. So I'm actually just dead next turn, right? I'm actually just dead next turn. There's no way through this, right? Because Disciple doesn't matter. He parrots. There's just no out, right? Nita doesn't matter. Lost to Owl. <laughs> um, can I draw? No, I can't draw cards. If I could draw some freaking cards, we'd be fine. But I can't draw any cards. This doesn't actually draw enough to keep my hand full, right? Shoot, dude. This doesn't do anything. I'm just dead. I did that in the wrong order, obviously. I don't know. I didn't. I still ramp. I, oh my god. I thought I was going to get a dude, but we're still at 19. You're kidding me. Just dead. I'm just always dead. Parrot. Attack. Ping. Dude. The the Ar the Varden armor made all the difference almost, by the way. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest. I hate stuff like this. I hate recursive. Um, just like, you know, you don't get to play the game sort of effects. It's like a super freeze. I think this is really, really silly. It's fun to try to solve it one time, but then it's just stupid forever. <laughs> like after the first time, it's just stupid forever. The, the owl. <laughs> I guess pure cold's fine. I don't really need any of these that much. So pure cold. I mean, Astral Portal, I do like that it could maybe fill in some mana gaps for me. That's not bad. I don't really need the reach that this provides. Okay, decent death rattle package here. I like that pretty well. Druid of the Plains is big, but that's fine. We can handle big. We don't need this. We don't need this. This looks good. Good death rattle consistency would be nice. Still not the biggest Greybow fan uh, before we get mummy magic. If, if we get mummy magic for us, but before anyway. Uh, this works better. Mummy on one. Seedsman on two. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. Okay. If you guys said, I said, if you guys seen birds before, <laughs> in hindsight, that was really funny. Oh, thinking back to that was really amusing, dude. That was really, really funny. If you guys seen birds before, <laughs> he kept calling it an owl. I thought you meant an iron beak owl to silence Greybell. <laughs> seen birds oh man that was that was pretty delightful yeah that is i'm so happy they're using their freezes on my one one instead of you know my my gigantic dudes that's always nice to see <laughs> 
Is Boar still strong? I don't see that many, but it's because I'm never getting to like 10 or 12 wins. Yeah, I think it's strong, but it got harder to do. They changed the bucket or something, I think. So we could just go ahead and drop our five drop if we want. I don't really think Grave out, like, like I've said 17 times. I don't think he's really that good yet. I think we're looking at better moments for Grave out later. Guff, on the other hand, I like quite well. No reason to embalming ritual that. Gotta be better targets later. Hedge maze is cool for death blossom womper. I am actually feeling a little bit worried again about my ability to, to like end this game. I just don't have endless value. Um, I mean, hopefully I can just get a big board that sticks and hits for 25. Obviously that's the goal most of the time, but I don't really have just endless waves of stuff and value. So this gets frozen off pretty easily. Currently, Death Rattle Minions are Kodo, Teacher's Pet, Disciple, Moarg, Cecily, Stoneborn. Well, Stoneborn would definitely be the best bet there, but I, I think this turn feels a little too... A little too convenient for this, right? Next turn we'll have eight. Womper, Hero Power, Ritual maybe. Yeah, I think we're fine to skip one turn of ramp. Let's just let's leave this in. So, okay. What is the treasure for this mage? It's probably gonna be like infinite arcane, right? So I can't even go infinite against them. I don't have any infinite tools, but hopefully I just get through all the freezes and stuff. Free solid is scary though, so I gotta be careful here. I can't just, can't just do this forever. Teacher's pet's not my favorite role, unfortunately. Ugh. That dude's big, I guess, but I'm dying. I'm just gonna die. <sighs> just gonna die. I hate, I hate free solid too. <laughs> it's like a lot of things I eat in duels lately. I don't know, man. I might just be tilted by duels lately. I'm feeling like I just can't get in sync with it. There's so many things that I feel like just do silly stuff. I got, you know, my, my treasure gave me two extra mana. My opponent's treasure literally doubles their damage. <laughs> I mean... You know what I mean? Like, uh, those don't seem like they're on par to me. So yeah, I got two extra mana crystals. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, your damage is doubled. Oh, okay. That's that's not the same. <laughs> those aren't the same things at all. Oh, I thought we were playing the same game, but apparently not. I think Adara here is totally fine. Get some life gain here. Uh, I don't have mana for that. So ignore, ignore that last comment. That makes zero sense. <laughs> ignore that part, but everything else made sense. Uh, is this a embalming ritual worthy here? Just to get another giant 7-1 out, if nothing else. Or, and, and a couple three drops too. Really wanted to use this, you know, on like a gray bow or, a, you know, a Moarg or something. I don't think it's time just yet. Let's wait a little bit here. Okay. We can live with freezes. It's actually not that strong, right? That's totally fine. Oh, never mind. It's a little stronger. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, of course. Your damage is doubled. It's totally fair. It makes a lot of sense. All right, I definitely need to get some life gain going. I don't know what the combo is of life gain though. Like, is it these two maybe for now? Ritual on Greybout. So like Greybout, hero power. Uh, I can trade here first, right? This might be an Oasis ally though. We didn't, have we tested a counter spell yet? No, we haven't really tested a counter spell yet. I don't really want all the Greybows out at once, right? So I'm thinking about trading here and then giving the Greybow his own death rattle because he can get his own death rattle it, with the with the thing here. And then I kind of have like a staggered gray bow with reborn as well. But maybe that's just too greedy to sort all that out. I don't really want to hit the minion because it messes up the sequencing a little bit. Um, so we'll just go with minions here instead. We're going to be able to test a counter spell this way as well. Okay, so counter spell this. All right. So this has gray bow inside of it. This has gray bow inside of it. Well, I mean, not exactly, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's it's gonna chain gray bow to say the least. 
From here, I probably need to start drawing cards. We're gonna have enough mana to play like two big things per turn most cases now. So let's just start trying to draw and, and punish, push. Make sure we don't run out of steam here. They don't have a good freeze here. I mean, we, we could obviously just maybe hit for like 11. Oh, that's a good freeze though. Okay. It's not too bad at all. There's that lady Ash Fane. What an idiot. <laughs> Definitely a part of me is thinking about the Kodo here instead, and I just accidentally played it, so that, that part of me must have won out in the end. It took control of my hand for a second. I was going to talk about the debate of the Disciple, but I, I think getting a little life gain is nice. I'm still worried about burst damage because the free solid potential is kind of nuts, right? So taking this as a bit of a life gain turn with Mita and, and Kodo seems to make some sense to me. We certainly have plenty of taunts to, to eat minions right now. It's not a big concern. Um, okay, so this has a gray bow when it dies. That's gonna it's gonna give a gray bow This has a gray bow inside of it not to mention another dude. This has armor inside of it, which is cool They need more freezes to perhaps stall out this board ba -ba -ba -da. <laughs> Okay Seems like a blizzard or maybe something else random, I don't know. Oh, Deathborn, oh, sure. That too. Barking up the wrong trees! We have 10 here. Very close to a lethal setup, unfortunately. Not there, though. I think they had a... Oh, solid alibi. They have a flurry? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Stoneborn's pretty nice, yeah. If I draw here, though, I can't play both of these. Maybe this is a ramp turn, so I can play both. I'm drawing two cards per turn anyway, that's kind of okay. Um, I think I might... Like, do I really hit face? I don't really hit face, right? There's no way that makes sense. The alibi, just there's no way it makes sense. Oh, that dude took double damage and died. That's gross. It's really gross. I should have played this first. Oh my god, and actually punished. Ah, I didn't re didn't realize he could die because of the stupid freeze solid. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I look a little tilted by that. Ah, the unintended consequences. I was thinking, oh, he takes two. He's fine. I don't have to worry about ordering here. But actually, no, he takes four. Just kidding. My passive is 100 times better than yours, bro. But remember, I have a mana. <laughs> I have a mana. Cool. I love it. Uh, I'm so tilted by this, dude. Like, the difference in these passives is just really showcases, uh, like, why I'm so frustrated by duels lately, I think. Because I can't seem to get good passives. I just put a run on YouTube about how garbage my passives were, you know? He's going to go for the Mita instead. That really... Uh, like, maybe this is getting frozen by something else, because that really showcases the thought about... going face maybe denying life gain like yeah they're already thinking about face a lot jeez dude i hate this so much there's that jandis of course i draw all their cards greedy sprite okay what makes something okay and that's stealth we're gonna try it it may it always can backfire right but we're gonna try it is this an oasis ally? Oh. I'm Probably locking my board or something, but that's okay. Blizzard will come down. Yeah, yeah, runner does not have rush by default. It sure seems like it though with, with uh, Twilight Guardians or Guardian Animals, whatever it's called. Yeah, Guardian Animals. It sure seems like it, doesn't it? <laughs> wow. He's dodging so far. Good job, buddy. Nice. What are they planning here, though? I'm always nervous. Kelth is odd time already. Is it, uh... I don't need miracles here, though, right? I just need... Yeah, that's Kelth is odd. They're filling up the board, right? For a Kelth is odd for eight mana here. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Oh, Deathborn again. Oh, my God, dude. Of course. I am so sick of Deathborn, man. I have 12 here, but I, of course I have to assume that this is an ice barrier at this stage, right? 
Either way, let's heal a little, of course. See what's up. Get a feel for this. I think it's, yeah, always Ice Barrier, but let's draw a card here. Oh my god, why do I only draw their garbage cards? <laughs> That's all I get. I don't get any other cards. <laughs> only their garbage every time. I am still very worried about being dead, but... We're gonna do our best here. Huh, interesting, okay. Would have preferred the taunt kept the help, I guess, but... All right. I, uh, man, I, uh, I'm really frustrated by all these, uh, just lock everything out strategies, man. Seems like everybody's go-to is like, I'm not going to let you play your cards or your minions, at least, you know, freezes, vanishes. <laughs> That's all we're playing against. The first guy was a delight playing a weird, wacky deck. Man, that was a delight. I'm so excited. I want to play that guy again. Hey, thanks. Life hacker is here, man, for the kind words and hundred bits. It's nice. There's the Kalthazad, okay. Can I keep any minions alive here? Please, please. I mean, an 8-8 always lives, right? Oh my god, actually dodged? Are you kidding? Oh, this gets frozen, though. But I have 10 if this hits the right target. Oh no, not like this, dude. Not like this, dude. <laughs> not like this. Oh, wait, what? Why not take the 50-50? Did they read the card? They didn't read the card! They didn't read the card! And this is obviously the pick. Mummy Magic is insane for us. So we might now have the OP, OP stuff. They didn't read the card. I only had a 50-50. Uh, I mean, honestly, this is the highest quality cards, right? Scale is still a really good card when you're ramping. Master Spell's handy to have, but this is garbage. I mean, this is a death rattle for the record. Two coins? And that's actually not that bad in hindsight. Galaka Crawler is unlikely to ever be useful. This is ramp, but I don't really need the beast copies. It's hard to get this off. I and mean, we have some good ones, but it's hard to get it off. Dude, I don't know. This actually has me a little tempted now. Gildan Gargoyle with, with um, Mummy Magic is insane. Let's do it, dude. Gargoyle could be a game winner, getting like two Innervades basically, right? Actually, yeah, I gotta hit some ramp, but let's keep a four here. Let's keep let's keep something early, but I need to hit some ramp for sure. Gilded Gargoyles rampy. Okay, this is uh, our turn two play. Turn one, we hero power. That's fine. It would be nice actually to, to get a little more early game death rattles now, because we still we we power spike a little late, I think overall. Dude, do I use hedge maze for the gilded gargoyle? No, not for one coin. No, no, no way. It's not worth it. Guff is great. Gargoyle on two, hedge maze on three. All sounds good. Astral portal's fun. I roll me, dude. I roll me portal. If this dies, am I playing a Kodo early? No, I'll play a Guff early though. Definitely play a Guff early if it dies. Show me some pirates with like a locket crawler. Oh, Seedsman's good too, man. Maybe we go Seedsman here. Yeah, we'll go Seedsman here. I don't need the Hedge Maze yet, right? Innervate. Oh my god, so many coins this game. A million coins. So Guff, Innervate Hero Power is probably the move. Really push some ramp. Be close to Moarg soon. I still need to be able to win this via bodies on board, right? Like, we're going to gain a lot of armor, but we're not going to last forever against bombs. That's it. They actually haven't shuffled a single bomb yet, by the way. That's pretty insane. Seems like they have a taunt package running through this, too, that's eating away from their armor gain consistency a little bit, maybe. What would the best possible astral portal be? Like, if we could pick the best possible portal. If we just had Lion's Choice of astral portals, what would we take? What would it be? Ooh, I actually, some part of me likes, no, oh no, I can still do this, Never mind. what am I saying? That's perfect, actually. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Neptulon? I don't think you can get Neptulon. You can't randomly summon Colossals, you know, uh, randomly generate Colossals. You can summon them out of deck, but not randomly generate in, in, in board. So many weird little rules about that. Uh, Scotty Karate, do thanks for the eight months.
Okay. Probably wouldn't mind getting Amita in early, honestly. That's a pretty good sticky minion. Hakar? Oh, I don't know. Rattlegore is probably the answer. It's probably got to be Rattlegore, right? Uh, okay. Everything already has Reborn a little bit, so that's kind of stressful, right? But I think we're going to be okay. Mita, I like getting sooner rather than later to get some lifesteal value ASAP. And it's just sticky, right? Hard to deal with. Pretty annoying. Not, not especially well-shaped against the current board, I'll admit, but otherwise, okay. So hedge maze, I think I want to use for tempo plays like, you know, and I want to make an 8-8 out of it, not gain eight armor. Maybe I know that, that the bombs will eventually check that. But for now, I want to make sure I'm winning the board first and foremost. So that's the first plan. A car is always the answer. I don't I don't think that's true. <laughs> oh, gray bow. OK. Oh yeah, this guy doesn't actually have Reborn, of course. He's not a really great target either though, because the, the, the Rewon, the new one doesn't, you know, doesn't get it. Um, okay. We're gonna have so many Grey Bows in the Xyrella. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stress about maximizing these Grey Bow values uh, because we're gonna have so many Grey Bows in the Xyrella anyway. Right, like, like we don't have to make every Gray Bell board perfect, essentially. I just need the eventual Gray Bell board to be perfect. Oh, he got it. Okay. I was going to say, I thought I was putting it on here, but that was obviously a 50 50. Okay. So, yeah. Surely the Gray Bell, infinite Gray Bell board will be enough. Uh, they might have some kind of silence. I guess they haven't had a chance yet to get wand. So it's not a wand, but um, there could be some silence that challenges the Gray Bell board. So it would. Oh. Okay, I was gonna say, it might be nice to, to bait out the silence prior to the Grey Bow shenanigans. But now they know I have a Grey Bow in hand, and they've used that owl already. Does that cause them problems, right? Like, are they worried about that? I don't know. Is it time to Grey Bow now, in other words? Yeah. Barking up the wrong tree. Oh, that's pretty good. And a cool death rattle for Zyrella, honestly. Yeah, that's pretty good. Gonna hold this reborn, I think, for Grey Bows later, right? Not not this particular Grey Bow, I guess I should say. Okay. Wow, that's not bad, dude. Great death rattle. Since we don't have to worry about the battle cry, that's awesome. Good reload. I mean, it's kind of risky with bombs, I guess, theoretically, to draw more cards, but not yet, really. Not worried about that at the I moment. The wow. EG. This dude's got some crazy OG removal cards, dude. I am Pical, big game hunter. He's basically playing a sludge belcher here. What year is it? What is going on here? Is that another? Okay, I was worried that was another silence, dude. I was about to get really sad really quickly. Alrighty. So now we're on Greybout train for sure. We need to start getting an armor train next up, I think. Oh yeah, scary. Sooner rather than later, maybe. Oh my God. That was all the bombs, every bomb. Fear not. Every bomb. Just thinking about, like I gotta play some armor game cards here. Oh, that's a pirate by the way. Dude. That's cool. I think I'm gonna gain armor. I think we have plenty of gray bows. Like we're gonna have even more, and I'm gonna I'm gonna reborn a. Well, am I gonna reborn a grave out? Yeah, I'll innervate it. That's fine. <sighs> yeah, I think I think I gained the armor. Honestly, I think this is plenty of grave outs now. This is enough to like win the game. So let's just gain armor instead. Okay, this is three more grave outs, of course, which all feed into the Zyrella grave outs now too, which we have in hand. We got Galaka value, which is insane. He currently doesn't have any bombs in deck, so actually we're going to have some time here before that becomes a real crazy threat, but want to go ahead and start stacking it up now. Do do do. Do do do. All right. Hopefully this armor is plenty. I don't think there's a lot of like burst in the deck, but still good to get it going. I think also based on the no, we won't get an extra 8 from doing that, but again, it should be totally fine. This looks like a pretty decent Adara board, honestly. 
It's just a lot of taunts to push through. I can get a ton of face damage. Got an 8-8 here ready to hit. Yeah, let's go ahead and Adara that. And, and certainly putting minions in my deck is helpful too. Oh my god, he just... I just always draw the bombs. Are you kidding me? This guy is crazy at sniping the bombs. They're always at the top of the deck. <laughs> All right, he's very light on resources. This should be good. Dude, 16 is scary. And I healed eight, remember? Bash face! He has zero fear! Oh my god, I might have to play Zyrella just to... Surely not a risk yet though, right? Not really, anyway. Not really. Do we want to make a board space or leave more minions out? Let's actually make a board space, just in case. I don't know what difference it'll make, but just in case. You never know. Greybells alone kind of can make a difference, but they're pretty much dead here in no time. This is never, like, lethal, is it? Doesn't do any direct damage, right? Mita is also valuable on board. I mean, surely they can't deal 13. Well, they, they actually only have to deal 8 for the record. Oh, no. 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 Oh, thank... <laughs> Dude, 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 I, dude, by the way, I gained that eight instead of taking your gray bow. Oh my God, dude. Dude, I can see my life flashing before my eyes, dude. I said, surely they can't deal eight. Top deck, deal eight. If I had taken the greedy, there was like a way to get extra gray bows off the Mita before I traded it in that one turn. It was like a 4-1 and I traded it into that Drake or whatever. It had gray bows on it. I could have triggered the death roll on it for the for the Mitas. And I thought, no, let's go ahead and pivot to gaining armor, right? We've already won board. Like the board is sufficiently locked in. I don't need to be greedy for board. I need to shore up my life total. And, you know, it, at the time I was like, is this really right? Is it really right? As you can see, we go down to five. So thank God I grabbed the Moark armor off the location instead of the, uh, instead of the Mita. <laughs> I mean, it was a, it was not an obvious line at all. Yeah, I think Wand is actually pretty sick. Uh, we have, we have Mass Spell, but Wand is, you know, beyond that good too. We don't really need these. We had plenty of card draw from our hero powers and stuff and, and, uh, expensive cards too sometimes helps. We have had some lighter hands, but usually if I draw one or two cards a turn, it's fine. Oh, that was too close. They had an out. I mean, good for them, by the way, playing to their out. That was a pretty sick. Uh... Oh, this is cool. This is also not bad, but I like this better. This one's a little bit more defensive and controllable, basically. Okay, so this is good, but I think we need to make sure we hit ramp and early death rattles first and foremost. We definitely don't want this going too long. Um, Goff is ramp, so that's fine. Oh, recycling special delivery. Okay. I do worry about special delivery a little bit in this one because I can't just kill endless boards, right? I'm not good at killing endless boards. I might need like gray bows to lock them up specifically this game. Uh, mass spell also is a little bit risky with special delivery, right? Cause it can actually buff the ones that get summoned. Like if they summon a five one, that's really a five five. I can accidentally make it a five five. This was a great draw. Thank God for that. I do need it to die though. And I need it to die this turn. So we're just really digging for Greybow. And beyond that, just whatever, just big stuff, I guess. Yes, trade it in, trade it in for me, yes! Yes, I don't think it's ever right to trade in here. But I'm so happy that they did. They traded in both as well, yes! I love you, man. Oh, do I ever greed this? It's a crazy amount of mana already. You don't really need the guff yet. I mean, I, this can obviously be big minions later, but it's less and less likely to control what this is later. And now I know exactly what it is, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Am I going to have a resource problem later? This draws, this draws, this draws. No, I think we go for it. I would maybe consider it not doing this if I had a resource problem, but I like, I like this pretty well now. Now we can try to win this game by overwhelming them with big, tall stuff, maybe. We still have the gray bow out too, which is great, but... We don't have to necessarily win with Greybow and now I might be able to outramp them and just, you know, play some eights and sevens real quick and just bang, 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 they're dead. So this time they don't, they choose not to kill this time. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Well done. 
Better decision here, I think. Wand is a nice backup plan. Perfect. Now we're at nine this turn, so probably gonna go Cecily for sure to cheat out some big old, big old big minions if we can. Okay. Cecily's awesome. Hero power Cecily. We're gonna be 20 mana in no time, dude. It's a good trade, maybe. Oh my god, dude, we have so much mana. Oh my god. Oh my god, we have so much mana. That is a good mini to trade into Cecily, to be honest, but... Um... I mean... Yeah, right? This is, this is probably good. It just draws me so many minions. And it's such a monster board. Let's just do it. It's not really the perfect... Like, obviously, a Stoneborn General would be a better target, right? But I don't have a Stoneborn General right now, so... Let's just make the crazy strong play right now. So this summons an 8-1 and two 8-8s, eight eight, each of which draw me zero mana minions on average. I guess Stoneborn's two mana, but you get the idea. So this is just a monster, monster board build. This is one of those where they're almost maybe sometimes better off not killing it, right? They do have the math here to kill two parts of this though, at least. Yeah, they decide not to kill it. I think that's heads up. I think that's really smart. It was just gonna be too gross if you did. So draw a death rattle minion. Worst case here is Grand Mummy. Best case is Stoneborn General, of course. Uh, do I ever wand here? Feels a little early, right? I think Drew to the Plains is really good though. We can just, oh no, we can't do that. That's 13 mana. Mass Dispel might be worth it too because the Kargaths are just kind of annoying. Yeah, maybe we do Mass Dispel because all three of these are pretty good effects. It does buff this, but I'm not really worried about that so much stat wise. I care more about, cause I think I'm just gonna go face really. He dies to all these trades anyway. Yeah, let's start here. I think that's, I think that's fine. Getting rid of the primes is certainly a valuable, valuable game plan to, to take. Oh, it actually doesn't buff them. Oh, I'm wrong. I thought it did. I'm just hundred percent incorrect. It does not buff them. Huh, I thought it was a modified stat line, but it's actually a, a white stat line. It's, it's, it's a full one. Oh, that's even better. Great news. It doesn't count as an enchantment. Their summon is a base for one. Oh, wild. I would normally expect that, but I'm cool with it, whatever. Wow. This might be a wand turn, actually. This is kind of a gross board all of a sudden. Although this is gonna be a bunch of buff stuff too, so maybe it's not. Maybe you have to greet it one more time. I can't kill the rhino though. If I do go for wand here, I mean, it's so much value. I, I have to get rid of the rhino. Yeah, I have to want. We're gonna hit at them for a ton. I'm gonna drop a mountain of stats. I think I just dropped Moargs again, right? <sighs> Actually, I sort of need to draw cards though, weirdly, but this isn't the right turn. Yeah, I'm gonna want. This is my last big silence to be fair, but I think I'm turning the corner enough that it'll be okay. A little bit of risk for sure, but. Uh, this is a giant reload, right? I'm not as worried. They're pretty light on resources, so it's really just these four hand buff things that are scary. But surely these, you know, this is what, like five, eight attack minions still? This is two and this is three on the back end. So six, actually, six. Yeah, six, eight, eight attack minions here. Surely that'll be fine. Yeah, the eight, eight gang, yeah. You are deep in it's a cute little couple we got here. No tomb can hold me. No tomb can <sighs> Big mummies, dude. That's a lot of mummies, dude. Thankfully, six is not great math, right? It's not great math. It's not bad math either though, to be fair. It's still okay. Six and three is pretty good. He should have maybe... Could have, he ran six twice in, right? I feel like the six and three might have worked out a little better. I love how long they're leaving this minion up, but it is, it's definitely giving me some real distinct advantages here. Uh, hedge maze. Is this gonna actually summon the two immediately? Oh my God, this is insane. Them not killing this is gonna pay off for me, dude. Wow. <laughs> this kind of needs to die. I, I don't have a good way to kill it other than just trading, which I might have to. I think it's important to, to kill that. Let's see if we find something here first. Mira, no. Yeah, I think I gotta hit this, unfortunately, but either way. Very good for us. So yeah, in case anybody's wondering, I put, I put Grave Rune on this, so that becomes a death rattle. 
So I both get the I get the Grave Rune Death Rattle triggered and I get the normal Cecily trigger as well, which unfortunately did hit Galaker Crawler, which was mega low roll, but the two eight eights immediately certainly makes it worth it, so um You're actually screwing me right now, dude. The flowers as this guy is a god. Wait, why not? Hit? Uh, yeah, that's fine. The divine shield here helps. This guy's a god, dude. Adara's nice, dude. I'm good, <laughs> dude. Great Bow's nice. Okay, we're getting some good plays here for sure. This is gonna be a monster turn. All right. Okay. Dude, absolutely insane turn from him. I'm not really mad at all. That was awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just make more big stuff, right? I, it's, we're, you know, just need to keep overwhelming, I guess. I think, uh, yeah, this is a fine trade, honestly. Not a, not a big risk here. So many 8-8s inside of that again. Any other good way to kill that without having to... We have plenty of stickiness. I'll just uh, value health and bodies here. More bodies faster this way. Oh, that's a great minion. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, I guess I put in the gray bow. I mean, it's nice to have it as a reload maybe too, though. I don't really want to draw a card here as we're kind of getting into the, into the deck here a little bit. I think we just chill. This seems like sufficient... Is it actually a lethal setup? 6, 10, 22. Quiet. It would be nice to put lethal in. Is it 27? I guess this is a lethal put. Okay. Sure. We'll draw one more card. It's fine. Nightmare would also set up lethal. Certainly, uh, Vicious Fledgling can as well, but not, not by any means guaranteed, so... Okay. It's not really board lock because I can always dump the location as needed. Zixor Prime's not bad, dude. What do you kill, though? I guess you gotta kill a Fledgling, maybe. Ysera feels scary, but I don't really think it's worth the... worth the target. This actually burns a card when it dies. No, it doesn't. No, only one coin. I don't know what you kill. I think value trades definitely make sense. I can Adara all these Zixors, I guess. It's four pretty decent draws in the scheme of things. No, the trading in, I guess I can't. <laughs> There's only two. Less less exciting for sure. All right, so 15 and eight here. Still not quite a lethal setup. I think we just make more stuff. Is Graybell my best bet here? Probably, yeah. Let's just get the Graybell going. Could greet this with like multiple Graybells later, but it's fine. Shouldn't really matter too much, honestly, here. Just want to get some taunts down to... uh Get a really sticky board here and make sure I'm threatening lethal, right? It's just old. Just don't want to greed too much. Okay. Nightmare. Nice. All right. This is the right <laughs> Just, I love this style play, by the way. Just absolutely get obscenely greedy with taunts and death rattles and just just absolutely overrun people with stuff make sure to drink two liters of milk a day to stay healthy that's that sounds like good advice yeah i've heard that before <laughs> two, two liters of milk you just said two gallons man i don't know what a liter is i'm from america what's a liter never heard of liters in my life Yeah, I wonder what Panda Chi has in the deck that feels like this has an out. Maybe there's a wand in the deck. I have a Zyrella, by the way, which uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's going to do, but it's going to do a lot. <laughs> it will do a lot. Never seen a leader in my life. We only we only use uh, gallons and ounces. That's it. Leader of cola. It's about a kilogram. Screw up. <laughs> I actually do know. Um, do do know a little bit of uh, grams by weight usually because uh, the wife is a nurse and she learned a lot of uh, metric weighting and then we watch these zoo shows and they'll be like this panda's 2.2 kilograms 
and she'll ask me what that is in the math so i always have to do the math for her who would have thought i'd be doing math for people what <laughs> exerciser is actually kind of cool we have a couple silences already i don't mind adding another one loyal sidekick it doesn't seem that useful to us honestly we just you know we, we care more about doing death rattle stuff i don't really want to be spending four mana on this usually even though our win total is already kind of accelerating yeah you guys are really buying in on the fact that i don't know what a leader is it, it is obviously a joke <laughs> leaders of soda are everywhere here uh, just making a dumb american joke but so many of you are bought in that i'm being serious <laughs> you guys really believe it i don't know i like exerciser having that flexibility i think this could be important to shut down some early aggression i, I think we have enough big stuff enough end game let's take some let's take some early game Oh, wow. Convincing Infiltrator is insane. Dead Ringer is insane. This is a really good bucket. Wow. Light Shower is awesome. I didn't even mention Light Shower, and it's insane. They're all insane. <laughs> Amulet we'll save for later, maybe. Let's try to find a four or five. Okay. Convincing is awesome. Crystal Gem and Mummy Magic. Oh. Okay, it's a battle. It's a really good, really good opener, though. Exercises are really good against mummy magic, by the way. Killing some early minions in particular, maybe. <clears throat> Mirror match. But who has the greedier deck? That's the question. Do we? T I mean, I'm not really that worried about the reef walker here, am I? The swarmers, I guess, are kind of annoying, but do I care more about just getting ramp going ASAP here? Did I draw this last turn and not play it? Oh, no, I drew off Hero Power. Oh, yeah, okay. I must not um, boy, I don't know. I kind of have plays even without the ramp, right? So I think I'm just going to exercise. For the lead. Like, we have plays. We have a... We, oh, no, we're going to three mana next turn, though. Oh, but that's fine. Again, yeah, we have plays. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. This makes him, like, scared to play his early death rattles, I think. And then maybe we could use that to, to, get, to get out ahead a little bit here. And we have backup silences if we need this later, right? If they have their own gray battle scenario or something, we have wand and mass dispel. So we can still deal with later problems as well. That said, whoever gets the first gray battle might still be at a huge advantage if the silences don't pan out. You know, it can still be a bit of a pickle. Now they have some like really early aggression to go with this, man. I'm a little nervous about this. This could overwhelm me perhaps. Do we like gargoyle better than Sprite? No. Almost never, right? Yeah, really glad we played this weapon. Or grabbed this weapon, I should say. Picked it. It's been awesome in this game alone. It's going to maybe pay off for itself. So Seedsman into Convincing. Convincing will hopefully start to stabilize us a lot. Um, something like this on 6 is a possibility, but probably not great. Might even go here on 6 just to get some great reload. I am already... Nervous about my life total, <laughs> as is always the case in duels, right? I'm already it's nervous. Druid can do gross things, so you gotta be careful. Okay, smart not to kill it. I think that's always heads up here. Do we kill the guff? Are they using the guff here to bait me? Do I make a copy of this with Mirage Collar? Is another question. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 50 health is dead in duels. Yeah, precisely. This is a pretty good Mirage Collar target. Obviously, there are also others. But this is pretty good. Guff is bait? I don't know, man. He's already ran. He's already played Living Roots. I also feel like it's bait to get me to use my weapon, I'll be honest. But what is the play here? This is worth two mana and two, but he's not really killing it off so it doesn't it doesn't advance me as quickly as something like seedsman does this is a perhaps more reliable advancement <sighs> okay i i'm not gonna hit the guff oh does that change my life at all no of course not no i'm not gonna hit the guff chat says guff is bait i'm gonna believe you I'm gonna choose to believe you. I can silence anything that gets buffed like crazy. It's it's if if the silencing gets spread out, right? That's a problem, so we'll see. I, oh God, oh my God. Okay. Like I said, I'm already worried about being dead. <laughs> I guess I was more right than I realized. This is an insane turn though. Eggnapper is definitely a better silence here. They're, they're actually hitting minions a little at least. That's nice. Surely with all these taunts and stuff, we'll be okay. 
wasn't even a nature spell. So Guff was indeed bait. He was bait. I'm still sad he's not he's not dead yet though. He must have another savage word then, right? How do you mean? Why would he have another? Oh, was it from aquatic form? I wasn't hand tracking. But it or no no. That's not a copy. That's not that's not moonlit guidance. I don't know. Why do you mean he has another? You're you're baiting me here, you're tricking me. Anyway, I think getting the, the infiltrator down is definitely fine here. I mean, it's really not that good into these one ones for the record. Now that I think about it, like maybe I'm ever actually better off using this later on. Killing this, I'm killing this. I mean, it's fine. They're just gonna trade in the one ones though. It's gonna be very easy for them to deal with that. Uh no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I need better plays. Yeah, I need I need better plays. I don't know. I think that's bait. It's just not the right kind of board shape for it. There's other good Mirage Color targets later, right? So I don't have to force the Mirage Color right now. I don't have to force it. This is not what we stood for. That's nice and slow. That's good. Totally fine for the infiltrator too. Oh, that's a target. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I've never been more rewarded in my life, I don't think. Oh, geez. Instantly rewarded. Do they have a wand? Does it matter, actually, at this stage? This is another question. I can still go for, uh, like, Zyrella in that case. Wand, I guess, would matter because I could maybe be dead. Do I ever go Druid Hero Power here? Just because I don't really need the Grey Bell yet. Yeah, let's do that. This is fine, too. Let's wait just a minute here. Let's make sure we're making good plays, not just obvious plays, right? This is not what we stood for. I think I'm healing my... F uh, I thought that was coming back as a 1-1 one -one for some reason, to be honest. Am I insane? I don't know what I just missed. Am I, am I insane? Oh, I just cleared the shield. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, that's what I did. <laughs> it's just I'm an idiot. I I forgot about the shield. Yeah, I did come back with shield. Perfect. Okay. I am an idiot, but also I made the right play. Both of those things can be true. Okay. So not too scary here still. This guff was absolutely bait, by the way, we're finding out. Just complete and utter bait. It did almost nothing. Uh thank god we didn't overreact to it. Nice. Okay. I still feel like I'm too early to play the Grey Bow, to be honest. Feels a little premature to me. Maybe we go for the Moark first and take a little bait. I'm just thinking about baiting a silence, you know? I just want them to silence something. I don't need any cards yet. I'm going to heal my face. I just want to see if they freak out about this or not and like what happens before I commit to the Grey Bow. If once I get a Zyrella in hand, I'll be fine to play Grey Bow whenever. I won't care. Like just, okay, silence it. I'll trade them in and, and Zyrella maybe will be fine. Um, although with Zyrella for the record, you do kind of need the minions on board for the Grey Bow to make sense, so. Oh, 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 oh. So they can't have Zyrella, right? So this is just a huge advantage for us. They are a druid. They can't have Zyrella. So this should be this should be the only way they get a Grey Bow, right? So once I silence it... Oh, dude, I could have stolen it, too. That would have been sick. This should be fine, right? I mean, do they have any other res effects? Nazoth. Yeah, Nazoth could be one way. Yeah, neutral way to get it back. In that case, we'll have to hit our wand. Or, or Adara is fine, too, right? We'll have... This is an answer, too, to any more Grey Bow refreshes, so... Okay. Good, good, good. So we got through one Grey Bow problem. Yes, Zyrella doesn't care if they were silenced as long as they died. She's chill as long as they die. That's all she cares about. All right. Oh, dude, we keep rolling you Sarah's a lot. All right, I'm just gonna keep going face and trying to win this way until you know if we don't need Greybout, we don't need Greybout. But we'll, we'll wait. Need some reload as needed. Uh, thank you, Samniac, dude. Yeah, I love making thumbnails, man. It's my favorite part about being a content creator. Literally, my favorite thing to do is make thumbnails. I, I do so much little work in the thumbnails that nobody ever sees because I enjoy it. I think it rarely ever makes any difference as far as like the results are concerned, but I do a lot of little work that nobody notices. For instance, 
as our opponent takes some trades here, I hope you guys won't mind if I disrupt a little bit of your view. So like, for instance, this thumbnail today, I remade this already once, by the way. So this is literally just a second thumbnail I made because the first one wasn't performing well enough. Uh, let's, let them, let's let them get through this and I'll talk about it. Uh, okay. What is the real plan here? Can they get through it with an AOE or something like a swipe? Yeah, swipe's not bad. Swipe deals with a lot of damage on board, right? So swipe's pretty good. Still gonna leave me with, uh, oh, my one off lethal? Hold up, 10, 14? No way, I'm one off lethal. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you serious, one off lethal? I don't have it. I can't activate this death rattle, right? So there's no way to, oh my God, you're kidding me. Every nightmare must end. Actually kidding me. I, I, I can try to draw, I guess, but I really want to play the Stoneborn General. I mean, I guess a, a Shell Razor's fine. No, I want to, I'm just gonna play the General. It's fine. I don't want to overreact here. Um, okay. So anyway, I made this thumbnail day for duels and I, the, she's holding this trophy that normally says number one, this character, Brit's Blaze Bucket. But since I was saying these treasures are trash, so it doesn't make sense that like you, you'd be holding a trophy that and the treasures are in here by the way too you can see that the discs of legend and and uh the, the treasures for this run are in her trophy but i photoshopped last on it instead of first because it's garbage she got garbage treasures and she got last so i wrote the word last on the trophy for no reason three people are gonna see that no one would care but i just had fun doing it you know i, I took it took an extra 10 minutes or something just to do it for fun for the five people that notice, it's uh, it's a nice little touch. And I kind of like color graded it some to make it look like it's shiny and stuff, you know. Um, so anyway, that's what I do for you guys. And the, the, you don't care about, but it's fun for me. Okay, they gained a lot of life. 20, I have 12 and four, 16. <laughs> We're still just not quite getting there, unfortunately. I think I have enough life now too, though, that we can start healing uh, minions to draw cards. Seems fine. I'm just holding these gray vows literally forever, dude. <laughs> this poor guy doesn't even know that I'm sitting on a bomb because I don't need it yet. Um, but yeah, I just really love doing little fun thumbnail stuff like that, right? Um, little fun stuff. And even like, um, even today's like this, uh, or tonight's, I mean, even this thumbnail, like I do little cheats on it to make it more visually compelling. This thumbnail, the, the Evolved Shaman thumbnail that I posted tonight, like, uh, oh shoot, you're missing the game, sorry. Some people just don't care about this at all. Um, like, I had to move where the card is on screen so that you could, uh, I, this is too much detail that no, literally no one on Earth cares about. Wow, dude, are they gonna clear this board? Oh my God, dude, I'm gonna have to freaking double snakes. This last four damage, I can't get it. I can't get the last four! God! It's a monster clear, dude. Do I go Adara here just to get rid of these, or do I just play... I guess the Disciple's pretty good if I play no other taunts, right? Oh my god, this guy just won't go away. I'm undead. I'm taking so- oh, that's actually a good roll. Excellent, minion here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. I just need some damage to go face, right? So I want sticky, stinky death rattles, stuff that denies these poisonous. Uh, anyway, gosh, I zoomed in too much on this. You can't even see it. Hold up. So like this, this thumbnail, right? I, I do little things like I desaturate everything except the cards and focus, right? Like the, you can see the board here is like way more gray than normal and a little bit darker than normal. And this is a different board too, so they all change, but, but I, um, I desaturate so the cards will pop. I moved this card. When I was actually playing the game, the card was over here half covering the knoll, but I had to Photoshop that out and move it here so it was more center frame for the thumbnail. I wanted to leave a little bit of a hang here to tease what this minion might be, because some people obviously would predict that this was going to be a Doomsayer, but what is this? Why is this so bad? You know, you want to kind of tease, like, what was that minion? So, you know, you have a 10 drop, a Doomsayer target, and then some hidden entity here. So just a little stuff like that. Little extra thoughts I try to put into it. Okay, Adara here is lethal. Cool. 
Nice, finally. This game took a hundred years, dude. Oh, Wand of Disintegration is also hilariously lethal. They don't have recycling, do they? No, okay. Let's <laughs> just double check before we get before we get crazy here. Somehow I'm just gonna throw there. <laughs> that game took a hundred years. I got so distracted because I don't really have to play anymore. I just kind of have to throw down big death rattles and then things happen, you know. Uh, this looks good. These are nice shapes for us. Mm. Okay. Um, actually. I might full keep here. Utterly impossible. Utterly, 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 utterly impossible. Forgot I could do that. It's fun. Uh, Dead Ringer's awesome on turn one. Widow Bloom, we can actually coin on turn two to get some ramp going if we want. Uh, Disciple's not that far away, which could help me recover if this is like a really smorky opening. I'm also thinking about that Death Rattle deck we just saw, right? We just saw it. So maybe I keep a Master Spell as an emergency, right? We've got plenty of stuff to do. This will give me a billion resources. So I think I'm just going to full keep. There's nothing in this deck I have to have, right? As far as I get, as long as I get, you know, a nice assortment of stuff, we don't have to have anything, so. Tome and Mummy Magic. Okay, yeah, so we don't, one thing we don't have this turn. Oh, Grey Bell is really nice to see, though. I was going to say, the one thing we don't have right now is the weapon. The three-mana weapon did a lot of work last game because this is a more aggressive Death Rattle deck than we are, right? So... Uh, it can be nice to have some of that check on the early aggression, like this guy, you know? Having the sword for this guy could go a hundred, hundred miles for us. But Greybell hopefully will solve that problem. This is a monster combo, in fact. Uh, don't be a thing. Okay. Oh, oh, it's a thing. That's a fine thing, though. That's okay. That's an interesting card, too. Wild Growth is the hit. Okay, so we're getting really close to this being an 8-mana play. I think we'll probably have to take this because we're going to fall behind a little bit too much on board, right? This is going to be so much stuff. I think we'll end up falling too far behind if I don't go for an early Grey Bow Caller. Oh my god, we hit Exerciser again. Is that better than just ramping, though? I don't think so. Oh, gosh, though. Um... Yeah, I guess I guess disciples like pretty good catch-up card. Yeah, this is still the this is still the move for sure. So we'll go disciple on six, seven. I don't know yet. We'll figure something out. Maybe we got a mass to spell. Maybe we got a. I don't know. But then eight is hopefully gray bell caller. Oh god, that actually dies pretty well to disciple usually, but buffs could be scary here. Adara is a good recovery card too. If this doesn't stick, okay. Nice. This deals six though in two chunks, which is good. So they may just have to kind of work through this one. It's probably not going to be feel good for them no matter how they they slice it. I'm sure they can have some stuff left over. They're smart though. Well, maybe not actually. I guess maybe a swarmer at the end of this chain. That's not too exciting. Assuming no silence or anything. Yeah, hit, hit, hit. Thankfully we deal with this. It looks like. Uh, I doubt we'll need an Adara this turn, so probably just go with like Teacher's Pet or something. Dead, dead. Yeah. So one piranha left. That's totally fine. Great answer for sure. Glad we kept that of the mulligan. That really paid off. If we if we'd taken another like ten or twelve here, I would have been very worried, right? But that slowed them down quite a bit. Which feels good. Psycho pomp. Not worthy yet, cause seedsman sucks, right? We'll just do this. This is fine. I actually care more about healing than drawing. We have the resources we need right now. So, Greybell Caller, I mean, it should tuck the Caller behind usually to get buffed by the Greybells, but also just having two Greybells on board at once, they're going to start chaining off of each other outside of a wide board silence, right? A wand or whatever could certainly be an issue. But we'll try our best to make this work. We will try. That's a scary start. That means they have a very big spell in hand, by the way. Which is spooky. What is their big spell, I wonder? God, I hope it's not that that uh, eight mana holy silencey thing. That would suck. It, it, it restored six, right? So it's not a wand. I mean, they could have a wand, but it's that's not the not that card, at least. All right, let's try this. Let's remove the biggest damage, right? Theoretically, I could keep that on board, but again, I, I think this is fine. Yeah. 
It restored eight. Did we, do we have any way to know? Did it show or did he just go? Did he hear part first maybe? I don't know. Hopefully this is good enough. It's definitely time. It was eight. Okay. He hero powered and then played it and went to eight. All right. So it could be that big holy thing. That would be pretty spooky. What other eight mana spells might it be? Just like a miracle growth, celestial. Uh, I guess it could be uh scenarian ward of old. It was a commonly seen thing back in the day. Is that show up in buckets? Maybe seems like they're not playing it this turn. Convoke the spirits. That's 10. Let's see. Discounted it, but yeah, maybe the other one, Nightshade Bud or something. Oh, Mass Dispel, dude. No! You're a jerk! We still have Zyrella though, right? So it's actually not that bad. I think we'll just Adara this, perhaps. I don't have a good clear on it if I don't. I can't, I don't know either, man. The fact that he's thinking about trading though still makes me think there's not a lot of face damage chilling there. I mean, this is just so annoying to deal with that I want to Adara it, you know? It's one of those where it's not, like, the best Adara. Could cube a Grey Bow, yeah. I mean, I don't do anything else, though, right? I'm just stranding this turn. I'm leaving a ton of damage around, you know? I, I can I can mass dispel. I can trade into a 4-1, a 3-2, and a 3-2. I leave seven damage on board. Might be, like, an Avenge still, though, too. Or maybe a uh, Sacred Trial. I think I'm just going to Adara, guys. It will die in a Sacred Trial if I play it, but that's not a big deal. It is early, though, because we know they have Death Rattles, but I have the Mass Dispel for other Death Rattle emergencies, right? This is more about just stabilizing my life, I think. So we'll save it for... Now, these do suck to get in my deck. Should I kill these off first? I don't really care about face damage, right? All right, I don't know. These also kind of suck too, but I think this might die. It wasn't Avenge, so. Um, yeah, I don't know. This was, you know, it's not, it's not perfect. I'm not gonna pretend this is a perfect Adara or anything. I'm just, we saw, we literally just got Savage Roar against the same deck, you know. I can't really leave four or five minions up. I might go down to like ten, eight, and then you start looking at, you know, Book of the Dead's and and uh, eight damage to face thingy, frost thingies that, that become really scary lethal threats. Just like a living roots and a deal eight and you're dead. So you gotta, I think you gotta be a little careful until we find some, some healing death rattles. Once we get a light shower elemental, a Mita, a Moarg, you know, we'll, we'll feel much more safe to tolerate those boards. But until then, just gonna hedge. And again, I, I, you know, I think we'll be fine late game here. I think we can outvalue just about anybody. Uh, I am probably going to start drawing cards a little bit, though, as long as there's not a ton of damage on board, because I don't have great resources in hand. I still like Cube Greybow. Could hit a Psycho Pump Greybow, honestly. That would be so sick. Unlikely, but sick. Uh, Some more general certainly looks fine, too. Oh, Lieutenant's crazy, dude. It ate a Greybow. So general here is not bad. Trade in this. Save the cube gray bow, maybe. That's gotta be, I guess, galloping savior? Maybe I've never played three cards in a turn. I don't know. The stakes are high. Good dispel. I think I think I gotta save the dispel for absolute emergencies at this stage. I think I think it has to be legit like emergency situations. That does not demand the dispel, so I gotta save it. I mean, this is kind of the same, but can be pretty scary. All right, so this is more of a board build turn to get some eight threats out. Next turn, I'm gonna want a recovery turn probably again, because I expect them to swing the board back, so probably go here. Psycho Pomp, you know, it's gonna get worse, but also get a little better as Grey Bows die. We'll see. I'm really looking to draw, like, a Moarg. A Guff would be nice, actually, just to get some, some ramp and more reliable card draw that I don't need to... Find a target to heal. Right now, there's, you know, usually the opponent's minions, but... Is this Reno Priest? No, it could have a Reno, honestly. We we don't have any dupes still somehow, but wasn't the plan. Okay. You can definitely see the depth of... Whoa! Speak of Reno! What? She's banned. Did they get her in a bucket, I guess? That's crazy. I love it. All right, cube gray about time, baby. Cube gray about time. 
Rotten apple bomb time too, I think it's fine. I think we trade here. I think I still win long usually. They have plenty of life. Oh, I forgot I had rush. I'm gonna be honest with you. I forgot I had a rush minion. I should have killed a 2-3 obviously. It's not the end of the world, but I totally forgot. Last time we summoned him, he was just chilling. Okay, so what did they duplicate? How scary are their duplicates, right? That's what I'm worried about now. Keep in mind things that are these for, oh my God, they duplicated Denathrius. Oh, good God. Oh crap. Uh, oh crap. I mean, I'm probably okay though, right? 12 and, well, I don't know. I need to kill the Denathrius too. Oh shoot, dude. I can give this reborn and just kill it twice. I mean, two gray bows is surely enough, right? Oh, well, I can run these in. That doesn't matter. It's just not any extra health. Um, well, I'm going to heal my face. <laughs> I'm going to heal my face first and foremost. I need as much health on board and face as I can get here. What's the best way to build health? Uh, probably psycho pump. I better off running in a gray bow. Oh god, I don't know. I'm, I'm out of time already. Oh god, I'm so nervous. So nervous. I'm so nervous. Well, that is the worst possible role in existence. Oh god, dude, I'm nervous. Ah! Ah! Oh, I have nine. Oh, this is, dude. That, I I can't believe I rolled a one health minion. Am I just dead? I cannot believe I rolled a one health minion, dude. It's such garbage. I tried to put the... Well, I guess it's... No, I, I tried to put the 8-8 eight, eight in. Yeah, dude, this is so gross. This is so gross. Oh, God, I'm worried. A 7, and I have 11. I have 30. I'm fine. I have 32. I'm not dead. I'm not... De well, I mean, I could be if it high rolled, but... Okay, setting up for next turn now. Um... Okay, did none of these get the Grey Bell? Are you kidding me? Oh, that got a great bow. I only have the one great bow. Oh, Zyrella! You freaking saint! I mean, I don't really... Oh, I do have healing. I do have healing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that heals five as well. These get a bunch of great bow bodies. Okay, this, this might be fine. He did get more procs on that Denathrius though, so I don't know. Apple bombs are the only heals, right? But this is eight eights. So that's really good. More resources is really good. Dude, Tyrella is the clutchest draw on the planet, dude. Why is everything one health though? God! There we go. Nice three health, dude. There we go. There we go. Is this a shadow spell? No. These are pretty sticky and nice. More gray bows. More gray bows. Yes. All on one dude, unfortunately, but. More gray bows, yes. Oh, I didn't get that other 8-8. It looked like that was going to the same guy again. Okay, surely this is enough now. We're back to 33. I don't think the thing got bigger than like 35 or something, right? I don't know how many more minions died, but not that many. Where are all these tutus from? Oh, from the three drop. They God, they have divine shield. That helps. They stick around, I think, after. Whoa, dude, clutch draw. I don't know if we would have been able to get enough health. The thick head kodos definitely seem to contribute a little, I guess. I hope I don't have a problem where I get too many gray bows now and I can't play like a Kodo or something, but surely I should be able to stagger them out and surely it'll be fine. Okay, so we just kind of need either more health or more boards, like constant threat boards, right, for these. Okay, he's playing out these early. That's kind of nice. I like that he's just using it for removal here, so I kind of have a chance to not worry about it anymore, you know? Just start trading in gray bows and stuff and not worry about it anymore. I'm actually going to go ahead and put this in. It might cost me a gray bow spot, but I think I can trade the 2-2 in anyway to make the same difference. I just want to make sure I have more life on board, right? 23 should be okay. We're going to get more hero powers, but for now, let's just let's be super safe. Okay, so we're kind of in an in-game state now. Oh, I have plenty of space in it, yeah. He played a, a, an ooze earlier, so I think I'll go ahead and spend the mana equipping this, right? He played the Zephyrus too, so I don't I don't think that's as at risk. Should be okay. So we think both Denathrius are gone, right? We we knew he copied Denathrius, so that's fine. He just used it to try to stabilize the board. 
now we have this like gray bow chain going off should be pretty good we can start hitting for five to face every other turn as well i am light on card draw now like i you know i use most of my card draw but should be okay this is gonna be armor right stall up yeah okay Denath Rai? Yeah, I don't know what the plural... Denath... Denath Rhea CCI. I don't know either. Talon is annoying, but not... Not a major problem. In fact, we just hit the Talon here, maybe? Yeah. We don't want them getting resources. This is the heal. Okay. Okay. I think we're in a good state now. Needless to say, still susceptible to certain things like wand. Do they have a wand? Have they played other treasures? We have not seen their second active treasure. Have we maybe mage armor? That was probably the first one, right? So I doubt it. Ugh. You got a totem bucket? Nice. That always feels good. They gotta be out of minions. Yeah, I was gonna say they've drawn 8 million already. Miracle growth. That was the 8-minute spell we talked about. Yeah, okay. So they're almost in fatigue. Is this just lethal if I hit with the weapon here? 12 and nine it was not but master spell weapon might have been cool oh dude these death metal mirror matches are scary <laughs> they're hard what is this garbage uh i think mine apocalypse helps me right ramp is good and i'm gonna use the ramp out of my opponent on average and sometimes i need reloads so let's do it let's do it and we don't need gorus no okay okay guff is good gargoyle's great Utterly impossible. That's a damage hero powers to make a wide on board. I don't have a good I need I don't have a good shutdown to that right now. Disciple would be good. Wand. Adara is decent, but a little expensive. We've actually rarely gotten coin. Have you guys noticed that? We we've almost never been able to play a three drop on one. When I very often probably would. Grandmummy is good too though. Just getting stuff down is nice. Oh man, my nose little stuffy. I was outside today. I mowed and grilled and my my nose is paying the price. I need you to go ahead and kill off these gargoyles, please. Yeah, oh, killing this one first. Okay, that's fine too. Oh, oh, sparking though. I forgot. Never mind. That's also fine, but not as fine. Can't go for guff yet. Oh, actually, I can go for guff. I can trade in. Uh, yeah, we'll go for guff for sure. Uh, we're not ready for gray bow just yet, right? I mean, it is annoying, but it's one of those where I would really, really like to copy it if I can. It's definitely the wicked issue. I'm glad to see a gray bow. I just got to make sure I don't mess it up. I need to make sure there's a healthy number of minions behind it, which this is definitely not going to end up being. Let's, let's play guff first. Let's play guff first and, uh... Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Guff's gonna fix that. Don't worry, Elise. You guys ever? Oh, this is a good courtesy too. You guys ever thought? Oh, that's a great burn. Yes. Oh, that's great. I took a lot of their reach out of the deck. Probably. That's so sick. You guys ever thought how weird it is, really? That uh, it's kind of weird in hindsight that that heroes just like transform into other heroes. In other words, like. Elise just turned into this giant cow man. Here for a good time, for a good That's strange time. if you think about it. That's weird. Disciple's gonna be decent, but not great against these Rakaras, but it might be enough to stall into the Adara, which is really the important thing. Shame we didn't snipe that, man. Snipe that! Wow, dodged both Rakaras. Cool, dude. I love it. That's what we were hoping to see. Jeez. Uh, no, we'll still just do this to stall. Man, they're gonna get too big though. So it doesn't really stall. I mean, ramp master spell is not terrible here. Just deny the stat a threat and then catch up next turn with a Dara. You know, honestly, I could even maybe take the hit here. Just seedsman ramp and then take the hit. I mean, it's only ten. Because Adara handles any board no matter what, right? Like, there's no risk that Adara won't work. Hmm. So maybe we just play the Seedsman to bait out some Rush Minion trades. We take 10, and then then we Adara. I think 10 is a, a reasonable amount to take. Is There is a risk you won't have her in hand. What is that risk? 
What on earth is the risk I won't have a Dara in hand? Like a Theotar or something? Yeah, it could be 12, but even that's fine too. That's not a big deal. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna greet it a little bit. I'm not ever expecting to see Theotar in a Rush Warrior deck, for the record. This isn't standard. I think it's worth the risk. I think we need a good result here. I think we need a debate more than just this stuff. And this saves this basically as a resource later, right? And uh, yeah, we only took 10 too, which is nice. Is it 10? Yeah, only 10. How does this work? Yeah, four and th th that shows so many different things. It's crazy. Uh, okay, so now we'll steal these. I think this is absolutely worth because Disciple just doesn't shape up well against the Rokara buffs. Uh, this is insane for Greybow now. This is exactly what we we're looking for for the Greybow. So now we're, I think we're in a really good spot. We have some hand buff cards to deal with here, of course, but they shouldn't be too... Oh, that's big. Oh, no, these are gross. Okay, <laughs> I take it back. It's, it's miserable. Um, is it time for this already? I mean, there's really not a lot of incentive to wait, right? A potion of sparking. Do I need a, Do I need an extra minion behind the Grey Bow? They can kill the... But, but the Grey Bows, they... they they could die simultaneously, I guess, right? There is a chance they die simultaneously. Make sure caller's on the right? What difference would that make? Think think. It's always gonna be on the outside edge. Why would the right be to, oh, because of this, you mean? I mean, they can, they can manipulate that, though. That's not a huge concern. That rope's burning again. I don't know, dude. This is nerve-wracking. I don't... We don't want Caller in the middle. I don't know how this summons. I don't know how this works. I don't know how this works. I don't know. It summons to the right. Okay. Do we... Maybe I did want the guy in the middle? But I don't want him to die. I want the 1-1 one, one Greybow in the middle so that it dies first and starts the chain before the 2-3 dies, right? This is what I wanted, isn't it? So now they both go on the 2-3, and I get two more. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Hit the other Greybow. Okay, well that's annoying, because now I may not be able to trade in the 2-3 easily. I guess I can mass the spell to trade in the 2-3. If I put the 2-3 in the middle, they can kill it before killing the 1-1 one, one by attacking the right minion, right? So I don't think you ever want it in the middle. Dude, Zyrella now, I just realized, is completely insane. So do I master spell here just to trade in the two three and create an insane wall of gray bows? Because otherwise, oh, maybe we just want. I really want the two three to die though. Man, wand is really nice looking though. Master spell is probably enough though. Because if I, these aren't that scary, like I'll just trade into the six whatever. I think master spell's fine here. Well, well, we don't need to put in a disciple because we're gonna have so many gray bows. Let's just master spell and then. Trust the Greybows for a turn. Let's draw a card first, just in case. Forcers shouldn't matter too much. Oh, hey, a Rokara, cool. So, is there an easy way for them to kill all of these simultaneously? I don't think so, right? There shouldn't really be an easy way for them to kill all of these simultaneously. I don't know if that's worth. Maybe I should just kill the biggest guy. I mean, they have to do some insane math, but I, in that case, I do still have the Rokara over here as well, which could maybe stick around. But I also have Zyrella as a backup plan now too. So hopefully, regardless, we're, we're clean here, I hope. Those no longer have Rush, interestingly, and that's always nice. So if they don't have a silence, this is exactly the sort of board state we're looking for, right? Just an endless wave of gray bows. Uh, seems like they're gonna kill the Rokara. Dude, I don't, I do not, uh, dude, I do not envy them right now. I'm gonna tell you that, dude. <laughs> trying to figure out, I hate these Grave Out boards, dude. If I were them, I might just concede. Like, if I weren't playing on stream, I would probably just give up. I'd probably say, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to get this math right. If they can get the math right, like, good on them, dude. I'm proud of them for sure. I don't know how you do it, though. Cannon work. Like, I don't, I don't know what you do, but. They're a baller if they figure it out, I'll tell you. Seems like they're making smart decisions already, I don't know. Seems like this is looking pretty cool. Cannon on... 
It's, they're gonna be so sad when I just oh, but see that 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 broke the whole chain because those don't have rush, right? So I'm just right back where I started, dude. They, I'll be honest, dude. They gave it a go there. They absolutely gave it a go. I feel kind of bad. I again, like I said, I sure as heck don't know the right. I sure as heck don't know the right mechanism. <laughs> I feel so bad, dude. <laughs> they tried really hard. I they, they they figured it out as well as I could have. I'll promise you that. And then we're just right back with another reborn grave out off the psycho pump, dude. So sick. They have to have a wand or something. Yeah, that's so gross, dude. <laughs> it's so gross. This is actually maybe like honestly, I think this is bad for Hearthstone too for for duels. It's like. I do prefer this over freezing, technically, to be honest. Like, I like this a little better, personally. Man, I, th these are death rattles, but they're kind of bait. I don't have a good way to activate the eggs, it's other than the terror in itself, and that's kind of bait. I think we actually go here. Groundskeeper's okay. Moonglade portal's fine. Just some life gain or whatever. Infestation is unlikely to be good for us, but we have so much mana, it might be okay. Like, that last game, we only had, like, four or five cards in hand, right? So, it might be okay. I prefer nothing, please, if I could, but... Have you ever played any other card games? Uh, yeah, Hearthstone was really my first card game, uh, but but certainly since then I've played a billion. Uh, I mean, pretty much everything you can think of. Not really that much Magic the Gathering, just for like one stream, one hour or something, but everything else. Played a fair bit of Runeterra, some Gwent. I played, uh, currently playing Marvel Snap, uh, Slay the Spire, a ton of roguelite deck builders. Uh, Poker, yeah, sure. I played some Artifact. Yeah, it sucked, I thought. <laughs> I've never liked Artifact. Uh, Eternal I haven't played. No, I haven't played Eternal. I've heard good things. I don't think. Maybe I did one time. A long time ago. Never played Pokemon? No. Uh, mostly digital. Mostly digital card game. I mean, I certainly played Poker. Very, various versions of Poker. A little bit of Shadowverse, yeah. Don't know that word. Nope, I haven't played that one. Hey, Dexter, dude. Wow, thanks for the raid, Dex. As I'm wiping off my forehead, I'm degreasing my body as Dexter raids us. Welcome, Dexter and team, to the scariest duels run you've ever seen. I feel like having Master Spell has been so handy, I'm going to keep it. Having these silences just seems so important. It may not be as good against Mage because they're not going to have, like, scary death rattles, but... Okay, spooky, spooky three sixes are gonna be huff, hard to deal with. We're probably gonna want another like crazy gray bow opener. Uh, let's do this. I need cards, I need mana, I need decisions. Guff is good. I'm like a little off from playing Guff though. Job done. Actually, I only have three mana again in the way this works, right? Uh, on your first, no, yeah, on your first turn. Oh, no, that doesn't, how does this work? I'm gonna go to four next turn and then back to four again. It's different now, right? I don't know how it works. I need to innervate though, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I go to four and then I guess I'll go back to four again, huh? All right, I think I care more about drawing than healing. They don't have double damage, so I'm not as worried about burst damage here. Job done. That would have been a great draw to get naturally, man. Yeah, four, four, five, yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, Kodo will be good next turn then, since we don't have the guff play yet. Dude, slow down! Dang! I don't know if I have time to guff, honestly. We might have to play for board really drastically here. I have some pretty good curves, so guff isn't as, as drastically necessary, right? Like I can I can fill in with a with a five, a six, can do something on seven, I'm sure, into an eight, right? So I might have to just kind of check the board a little more. I don't think the this the small incremental advantage of guff is gonna add up fast enough. So this turn might just be teacher's pet. It's just such an overwhelming board state, dude. Yeah, let's go for board on this one because the leftover bodies here do often trade fairly well into three threes and stuff. Light shower next turn. I'm gonna need a Zyrella, honestly. Okay, Light Shower. I would love a Wand or an Adara too, just to reset even harder, right? That would be nice too. P 
kings in this deck are really good at dealing with all my bodies. Oh, terrible minions, dude. I wanted three threes, man. I do like that they're trading a little, though. That's nice. I would love a, uh, a six drop. What's my dude? Oh, actually, Infiltrator's not bad. We don't really need the Light Shower yet, right? So Infiltrator's probably a little better for us. A little annoying for them to deal with. Uh, okay. I'm just throwing down body after body. <laughs> I'm doing nothing except throwing down bodies. But I might get to an insane Zyrella, right? Zyrella's already got a couple three drops in it. It's got 10 armor. It's going to have a couple minion removals off the convincing. It's going to have maybe 16 life off light shower. Maybe another 16 life here, right? Certainly. Oh, that's good that it hit one that hadn't attacked yet. That's nice. Either of these is fine. Cool. That's the best minion. That was good. That was good exchanges. Yeah. That was really nice. Not sure that could have gone much better there. Amulet, huh? Well, again, we don't really need the light shower here. Thinking maybe just heal uh, Apple Bomb is fine this turn. Definitely the weakest of these turns we've made so far, but uh, I must not th this is just overkill and I can squeeze in a hero power this way too. But the hero power is sort of unnecessary, isn't it? Because I'm going to heal off this anyway. Is this a guff turn now? Guff amulet's not really worth it. Do 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 do. Why haven't we played guff? Because if we sacrifice five mana, we'll fall too far behind on board. I'm trying to create a chain of death rattles that lead into a Zyrella swing turn so that then I can start to play Guff later. He doesn't give us extra mana until we get to 10, right? I mean, one per turn, but as I as I said, one per turn doesn't catch us up enough over the overwhelming board state we've currently kind of had to tackle here. Let's see what this gets me. There might be a better play, like our six drop. Okay. That's good news. That's the recovery we're looking for. This will hopefully hold over fine this turn and then we can Adara to swing or if Moark feels okay, we could try to Moark first, but I'm sure Adara will make way too much sense. All right. So we take six, we're at 34. They don't build a lot of threats. I think Moark is totally, totally chill. They build a lot of threats. Another three, six is all here. Is that all they're gonna put in? I think we have Moark in that case. Just a 2-1? Oh yeah, we, I think, well, okay, now we're looking at five minions. Moarg is hit, hit. I mean, Moarg's on curve, which is nice. Eh, I think Moarg's fine. Let's get them to bait a little more in. We can do a little more. If they ever hit me with a, with a transform effect, I'm gonna be pretty sad, but until then, let's do this. Can we get to a guff Adara turn yet? No. Adara hero power though. Seems good. Dude, I love how well this plan is working. Just straight up, <laughs> just ignore everything they do and play taunts. Okay, this might be an Adara. Yeah, that's an Adara, okay. So now we've hit the Adara. Uh, we'll hero power Adara. I think healing is fine. I don't need to draw cards right now, so. Just heal up a little Adara the board. Actually, decent draws for us. You know, not great, of course, but Karens are uh, fit for our deck at least, right? So. All right, now we've turned the corner. Now we can start looking for guff plays. Uh, maybe like guff into uh, Womper is decent, for instance. How scary could this be? Usually not too scary. But now that we're 10, guff is perfect timing. Oh, Stoger. Well, that's pretty scary, I guess, to be fair. Oh, is this right? Yeah, I think it's right. It's a little early to be fair, but uh, it lines up so well. I have this for other emergencies. Zyrella is gonna handle some boards later too, or at least really pull us ahead. So um, I think it's okay. The Calicos is scary, the 99 is scary. This is, this is not just about the silence, right? It's about the removal as well. There's just a lot of health there that's gonna be hard for me to chunk through otherwise. So now Guff is online. We're gonna get tons of mana, extra card draw. We, we might want to farm Guff Zero Power a little bit before we go for Zyrella. Of course, Zyrella can be uh, a big dump of stuff, but maybe isn't always as good long term, right? Okay, so we, that's the first time we've seen a skeleton. We might have to worry about Kel'Thuzad later. Wasn't really expecting that so much, but certainly something to keep in mind. Uh, we think a mirror entity is ever a risk here? 
think we assume always that this is an ice barrier, but we can test just to be safe. Money needs five more. Oh. Oasis ally also a possibility, of course, so. Oh, rigged fair game. Wow, alright. Cool. Oh, it's not ice, right, because they didn't get a they didn't get a, a downpour that turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not barrier ever. So entity was risky. That was a good test. No 3-6. I mean, surely we can outvalue this, right? I don't know if they have infinite arcane, but usually that's not really that bad. Usually that would still allow me to build a big board and just start whacking them down. They will have a lot of freeze. Potentially a lot of uh, tutus later, Kalthazad stuff, maybe. I'd love to get this Adara back in hand somehow, man. I don't know how to do it, but it would be cool. Glacier Racer, wow. That's cool. Spell burst me, dude. Huh. Okay, that's. I'm really happy to see the polymorph on that dude and not. Uh, not a Grey Bow, right? That's actually kind of a relief. A weird relief there. Grey Bow would be much scarier. Our hand's getting a little light. I think we're going to draw some cards instead of ramp here. Need to make sure we have enough resources. This is a cool pair, but also really insane with, with Grey Bow. Cairn and, uh, Death Blossom. Can do that. There's a Grey Bow. Okay. Interesting timing, yeah. I mean, are we really that worried about Kel'Thuzad? They've shown almost no other skeleton cards, just the location. I'm sure they have a baseline of skeleton cards in this deck because they're good frost cards, but do they really have like multiples? You know, is it is it basically a Deathborn, a cold case, a location, and that's it? Or is there more going to be happening? I don't know. Coin pouch. That can be a big summon board later. Okay. Do we go ahead and do the Grey Bow stuff? I think we might as well. Yeah, we have a sticky board, some good bodies stuck behind. This board's a little annoying to deal with. I think we might as well start here, yeah. And again, we have Zyrella as a backup plan, so it's okay if they do something crazy to this, right? It's all right. We can recover it with Zyrella later, so. I mean, to be fair, we only get one Grey Bow later off the Zyrella, I guess. Since, oh, well, I can make two immediately. Let's actually just make two immediately, right? That's fine. This is actually pretty gross. Well, yeah, so that way if it gets wanded, I have two for Zyrella. Yeah, that, that holds up. I like that call. And if it, oh my God. If it doesn't, uh, of course, this is just an endless army of Grey Bows, basically, which should be its own win condition. So what treasures have we seen so far? Really none, right? So a wand is definitely possible. Uh, yeah, we could definitely see a wand. Seems like they're hitting at least a little here. Okay. At this stage, I, you know, this is where I just zone out. My brain turns off. <laughs> I, don't, I never know what happens after this, right? Just. I don't know, man. Good luck. <laughs> I just tell the opponent good luck and go on with my day. I don't. I think I'm actually a little bored locked here for all these gray mouse. I think. No, I think there was gonna be one more maybe if if uh, if I had the space there. They need to find a mass polymorph basically off that public book, or they might be in trouble. Uh, Frost Novas? Okay, so just gonna lock me out for a while. That's fine. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not draw, because we're not gonna be able to do, dump any cards for a bit. Um, let's just hang tight. I guess I could ramp. I forgot to ramp. Okay, that's fine, too. Who needs 20 mana, right? Who cares? All right, so a bunch of Frost Novas in hand, but that doesn't really solve any problems for them. They still need to win some way, right? And Frost Novas don't win the game. They gain you a lot of armor, yes. They stall the game, but they don't win the game. Do they have any way to make this guy like infinite or anything? Or they just Frost Nova me forever? <laughs> or they just play Frost Novas every turn? I don't know how this works. Flame Geyser, okay. 
Dude, I don't have time to... F it's already been two and a half hours for this run, dude. Who has time for this? <laughs> God, dude. I need to just, like, have people concede sooner. They, they always play it out, which I respect. I love it. I love it, because they may have a condition waiting in the wings, right? They might have the wand later. I can't begrudge them for it, but I... For, <laughs> for the sake of getting to do other things this stream, I hope people will... Uh, We'll concede at some point. Okay. Thank God I have a lot of life. I would still be a little worried here if we didn't have a ton of life, right? That would be a little nerve wracking. Um, I guess we just give a grave out a, ri a ritual here. Maybe I save that for post Zyrella. I just have this thing where I'm running out of cards a little bit or running out of hand space a little bit. Let's just see what happens next turn. Don't forget to ramp, bro. I mean, I literally think it was not wrong to do that last turn, by the way, because we could always get to 20 by the time these Frost Novas go through, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, a Mordrush could be a problem if they could somehow stack it up right, uh, where all the Grey Bells are out at once, but I don't know how they're going to be able to do that. Everything is so staggered out right now, right? I mean, I don't have that many Grey uh, on Death Rattles at the moment, to be honest. They've actually managed to work through a few, I feel like. Maybe they're just going to try to, uh, you know, Frozen Touch me to death? It's a plan. So, Grey Bell inside. Grey Bell inside. Uh, Grey Bell summon inside. Grey Bell inside, okay. Time to move the portal, I guess. I'm not lonely anymore. Okay. They need 17 frozen touches. So, so, so you tell me they need 51 minions? All right. All right. They can kill 51 minions, right? 51 hero powers. If Mercenaries was closer to auto chest, do you think it'd be funner? I mean, maybe, but that's what Battlegrounds is. So I don't know if they'd want to make another... I don't know why they'd have two auto chess games competing in the same client. All right, so that should be the last Frost Nova, right? Guess we use our ritual here. Seems fine. I mean, I got if they could get enough ignites too, right? That's a win condition too. They have absolute win conditions here for sure. They are not. They actually do legitimately have win conditions here. But they should be out of Frost Novas at least, right? So hopefully this is where we start. Start hitting them back a little bit here. This is so sad, dude. I feel so bad for this guy. Um, it, it, in some ways, it, it you know, it still feels futile to me, but I don't know their deck, so we can't say that, right? They actually might be able to do this. Especially if they are just waiting to draw like a wand, for instance, right? That's a legitimate way to win this. Crazy scary way to win this. I have a, a bit of a dilemma here because I don't currently have any Grey Bows exposed. So I need to trade in some stuff, but nothing dies actually. Yeah, this is a little tough for me here. Might just want to go face then. Another freeze! It's insanity! And now I have no gray bows. Are you kidding me? You jerk. Um, okay, we can just do this maybe. Do I even actually location this? It's pretty dang good already. Yeah, I think so. I don't need to location any gray bows, man. It's fine. This thing, if I do get locked out on board space for a while, like that's fine. Okay. Not gonna draw any cards because I don't want to worry about fatigue later. <laughs> Dude, my opponent spends ten minutes trying to sort out my gray bows, and then you know I just yeah you know whatever play one card pass whatever, you know, it's a thing. I, it's gonna take me like ten turns of attacking to win is one problem though. I mean look at this, 107 health they've gained just off Arctic armor. It's crazy. Could, you know, discover effects. Oh, here could be a mass polymorph. Okay. This could be... Uh, oh, they got a blizzard in the deck. That's something to keep in mind later. I'm going to have a bunch of gray bows here, I guess. Seems. 
<laughs> oh, that's sick. Do none of these have the death rattle, I guess? Oh my god, they could actually fully wipe here. If they had like a Mordrash. Oh, now they can't. They just staggered. Dang. So that's sad for them. They had a chance to fully wipe that though. Okay. Um, God knows what this is. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I mean, what do I play? Mita, maybe? I can, I, again, I can make a spot with the location if I need to, so this is fine. But I'm actually still a little exposed, and now they have two more discovers as well, so Mass Polymorph becomes more and more possible. But again, I have Zyrella as a backup plan, so it's not like it's the end of the world. I just... I just Zyrella, right? So... Blizzard, okay... God, dude, dude. I mean, God. I'm so happy they're trying, but at the same time, I am... Uh, I'm real ready to... Ready to end this game, I think. Um, I do wish that would die, right? Is there ever a master spell here, maybe? I don't want them getting free spells forever, so maybe we just master spell this. I don't have any emergency outs, though, if I use the master spell. I guess Cyrella's kind of still an emergency. Okay. Mana bind and innervate. That's all right. Oh, oh, thank God I tested. Wow. That actually would have been brutal if I gave them a master spell. Wow, dude. Thank God I didn't give them a master spell, eh? Jeez, dude. Jeez. All right, I'm actually going to save the location. We're not even full up on board yet anyway, so. What's the hurry really, right? Dude. Dude, that was scary. I was just as a counter spell. I didn't even think of mana binds. Hopefully you don't need to innervate, man, with this 20 mana. I, dude, this game has been th <laughs> like 30 or 40 minutes long. Oh, dude. I just want to play some standard. I got to get some video. I mean, this is going to be a great video. Don't get me wrong, but I want more than this video. Turn timer. It's not impossible, yeah. I got 20 turns to win. I bet I win in 20 turns. We'll be in... Uh, normal draw even will put i think we go to 44 for turn timer right so i think they would draw like 10 cards of fatigue that's a lot of damage plus whatever board i stuck if they don't find a polymorph answer or something right echo of medivh okay so they're trying to get more discovers to find some answers here which is totally reasonable what was that oh hot streak okay Oh, hey, we finally drew the snow brute. How cute. Uh, yeah, I don't really honestly need to kill this yet, but uh, because they have the other ones anyway, right? They're going to have zero mana spells, but I eventually need to kill all of them, I think. Um, okay, that has two gray bows inside of it. I just maybe pop one of these gray bows to get another. Well, I guess I can get another gray bow now and and pop another uh, back end gray bow as well here. I think I only get one actually, cause the board is gonna be full from that, but. Okay, I don't know, man, this is just such a silly, silly, silly experience here. They are doing a great job of trying their best to get out of this though. I, I do respect it a ton. I may sound frustrated that they're playing it out, but I respect it. It's just my own, you know. My own desires getting in the way. Why not play cube and eat a gray bow? We don't need to yet. We're just chilling until they figure out a way to answer this wave. Then I will Zyrella for more gray bow bodies. And then, you know, maybe I'll cube again later for more gray bow bodies. It's just one of those until I need it, there's no reason to do anything differently. The game state is currently solved ish as it currently stands, right? So. No reason to mess with anything until then. They decided not to play the Calicos this turn. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's trade this guy in to get another. Actually, let's do one that does both. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, oh. 
I guess I just start going face at some point, right? Like... I don't actually ever want to play the zero minute card here, unfortunately. Maybe we could dump a snow brute, because why not? All right. Vengeful visage. Yeah, actually, that is something to be mindful of, because you're right, actually. I didn't even think about it. We knew that was a frost, I think. Although, did we? Maybe not. Did they play another frost spell? I don't know. Maybe they, maybe we didn't know. Yeah, we need to be careful. If we give them a gray bell with multiple gray bells inside of it, that could absolutely screw us. Yeah, you're right. Let's be very mindful of that. Blizzard. Okay. <sighs> dude, dude, this game, dude. This game is misery, man. Oh my god, dude. Just misery. Mana Biscuit Ice Shard. Okay, sure. Alright, that's good. That's another way to get a lot of great bells. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just chill here. No reason to fill the board yet. Alright, so they're still at 99, um, which we've chunked down a little, you know, they've still been gaining some and we've chunked it down a little, that's nice. Uh, they are just desperately looking for a mass polymorph, right? Like, it's just not coming. I feel bad for them. Might be in their deck, you know, like maybe that's what they're waiting for. Just stalling until then. I don't know if I can kill all these Kali geese now, man. I, I really want to so they don't get zero mana spells. I'm worried about like crazy swings, but maybe it's not worth the trouble. These each have three gray bows inside. Okay. I think I might kill this one and then just go face. Right, like what's the point? Eventually they'll just win with Ignite. I doubt their Ignite ever outpaces a wave of gray bows attacking every turn, right? <gasps> Oh god, I forgot to check Visage. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god, they only have one. They only have one. Oh, I forgot to check. Oh my god. Okay. I forgot to check, guys. I forgot to check. I have Exerciser, though. Only one is not a problem. Oh, thank god I attacked with that instead of the Grey Bow. It had Grey Bows on it. Oh, we just talked about it, too. Oh my god, dude. Whoa! Okay, that's a problem. We might have to Zyrella to heal now. Shoot, dude. Thank God they only have one. And I can get an Exerciser to re remove the one immediately too. They had a copy effect though, actually. That would be really scary. Okay, I gotta play Zyrella for life gain now because we're just too close to dying to random garbage. Uh, I, I can't believe I forgot. We literally just talked about it. I'm just so, you know. You just zone out. Um, oh god, I'm gonna burn the Exerciser maybe too. She does a lot of AoE damage, right? Is she gonna draw me a ton of cards? No, because I didn't play Cecily, right? I don't know, man. I don't really know what's about to happen. I arguably should have done this sooner, but I just wanted to save those Grey Bows, you know? Because the damage over time on the ping matters a lot, but... Oh yeah, I forgot about Infiltrators too, that's nice. That could be helpful. We kind of deny the Electraza value here. There's so many. This animation is going to take 30 minutes, dude. It's going to take 30 minutes. I, maybe I just go face. I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. I actually kind of need to dump cards, maybe. I just don't know what's happening. I guess they didn't get the Great Battle Summon, so why can't I play this? My board's too full? Yeah, okay. <sighs> dude, I don't, dude, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> dude, are they gonna get, dude, each of these has like 30 Great Bells inside of anything. Are they gonna get to play their turn? Is the animation gonna screw them over? I actually have a little bit of a concern where I could get a board full of Mitas if they do a good job of that. Okay. Still lose to, to ma mass polymorph now. Actually, legit, because I don't have the I don't have the gray bow reloads anymore. Right? We have meter reloads, which I guess could be enough, but we don't have them. But healing is nice. Okay, so I feel safe again, which is good news. Um, 
So they have a grave out inside this Calicos. I can hit an Exerciser at some point to deal with that. These Mithas that don't have board space do actually go away too, so that's a little bit of a concern. The wrong tree? I never would have guessed. You're kidding, the wrong tree? No way. <laughs> Dude, this still has five inside of it. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, dude. All right, I'm just gonna start going face, right? I'm just so, I honestly don't even know if this is right anymore. I don't care. Maybe I'll lose the game. I, I'm just so, dude, I just am so tired of playing this game right now. Um, If I get Exerciser, I will definitely use it, but there's just no way to know. I'm most likely to get a Fragment, which burns, but that's actually good if it burns because then I have a spot in hand and I, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't really burn. I mean, the minion burns, but not the card. No Fragment, shoot. I hope I don't burn Exerciser now, dude, I'll be so sad. I just want to get rid of their gray mouse so it doesn't cause any problems if they copy it right. It's my fault I gave it to them. I mean, I guess eventually I was going to have to attack with something that probably had a gray bow in it, so I don't know if that was really avoidable. I'm just glad I got the minion that was, you know, the least scary. It didn't have five gray bows inside of it. Oh, God. I don't know if I could have played <laughs> Dude, I don't I think I would have conceded. I would have just been over it, dude. Do they have discover effects left? Can they still... Can they find a mass polymorph? Can they... What is their win condition here? What's left for them? I need to dump cards if I can for sure here. Oh, to gold the stall. That's gonna buy them a turn. That's cool. Looks like they're setting up some kind of AOE here, maybe. We burned a gargoyle. All right. I mean. This, if, if they AoE this, I still have Grey Bells left, right? So it doesn't really matter. Dude, how long? Dude, we're on turn 25. Good God. Yeah, it's turn, turn, turn time, uh, turn time is like 44 and a half or 45 or something. Depends on who goes first. I forget how it works, but, uh, yeah, the Nathrius could kill me if, if it's been jacked up over, you know, 16 turns or something. Yeah. If they get it now. It might be too late, but yeah, that's definitely not for them. I like their game plan here, just frozen touch me to death. That's a pretty cool line, like trying to get their own touches. Again, I will respect Wolves Moth to the end of their days, man. Like, they are balling out here. It's just, oh, we got Exerciser. Okay, nice. Let's go ahead and kill the uh, Kali Ghost then. Or not kill it, but you know, silence it. Guide my hand. Just to avoid that problem. Just so there's no like gray bow shenanigans that beat me somehow. They're getting low on stuff. They're down to nine cards. We do know there's an Ignite later, but I don't think Ignite beats a wave of Grey Bows because, you know, this is theoretically 28 damage per turn. I don't think the Ignite gets ahead of that. If that's the only play they have left every turn, right? If they're just Igniting face every turn, um, hopefully we'd have enough to race that down because we're about even on health. So their Ignite's not dealing 28. Guys, I, I was gonna stream three hours tonight. I need I needed the ability to do some deck videos, dude. Like, ugh. Ugh. If they're just building up for the world's biggest Denathrius, by the way, and they kill me with Denathrius, I will just slow clap my way out of the stream, dude. I will be so happy for them. Oh, Mita's annoying, dude. I can silence Mita though, that's fine. We'll just silence the Mita. Mechgeneer Thermaplug's kind of annoying too, though. I feel like I actually kind of have to kill this. I feel like this needs to die, doesn't it, man? Give in. And then we'll silence Mita. Oh, <laughs> it's off the screen. I can't even see how many it is. Are you kidding me? Give in. Oh my god, it's so many, I can't even see it. I don't want to get to a spot where though I don't have enough Grey Bows left, right? So I want to clear non-Grey Bow minions here if I can. We'll just make a bunch more Grey Bows here. Oh, I didn't realize mine, but Death too. proc <laughs> Thermal Plug. I haven't seen this card in 45 years. Tree! Tree! 
All right, a little bit more damage for them, you know, like more infused triggers. Like Thermoplug was a pretty good roll, man. Thermoplug was pretty nuts. I'm still worried about these Graybows not stacking especially well, right? These are all fresh Graybows. We currently just have the one bonus Graybow here and one bonus, four bonus Graybows here. So did they hit it? Oh, they did it! <laughs> they were waiting the whole game. Oh, I'm so happy for them. Yes. That's amazing. I'm going to lose now after 40 minutes of this garbage. Oh my God. I actually don't know how to win now a little bit. This has suddenly gotten a lot harder. Uh, Mita's are going to save me though. Maybe right. And I can also go psycho pomp. <laughs> maybe for just a million more of these. Let's see what psycho pomp gets us right. And then, and then carnivorous cube. Dude, we hit a non, you're kidding me, dude. How, how did we hit a non? Dude, how? How? The path is clear. How did we hit a non? I think I actually do need to respect suddenly a minions on board, right? Instead of going face, game changed its shape a lot. Uh, I don't know what the best target is there, suddenly. How, dude? How? How did we miss Graybow? Might have should have left one more board spot for Mita's because I could hit three in a row. I'm actually pretty likely to hit multiples. I do have amulets again, by the way. I need to draw amulet first so I can trade the amulets. It's currently not big enough. It's only two, I think, or maybe three. I don't know what it's at. I don't think it's big enough though. Dude, they were waiting for one the whole time, dude. I am like so happy for them that they, dude, like that is, I respect them so much for sticking into this game and playing that out, dude. I'll give you that. That's insane. Am I? <laughs> this, this guy is the greatest player in the history of Hearthstone. <laughs> actual Hearthstone God. An actual Hearthstone God, dude. <laughs> kidding me dude oh i'm a 38 minute game dude 29 turns honestly the Nathrius wasn't even that big it was pretty big but yeah slow clap dude oh my god that is so crazy uh necrotic poison seems good for us uh yeah these are perfect great what an actual legend dude let's let's add a friend here wow absolute legend Immortal got the packs, guys. <laughs> uh, Immortal got the packs, guys. All right, we got to keep this going. Amazing. Be on YouTube for sure. Elise versus Reno. You are a legend in their eyes. The League of Explorers cannot fail. Uh, oh, okay. We like off early. Psycho Pomp, we don't really like early. Hedge Maze, we're kind of okay to play early, I think. Uh, Mita's a good card. I want to look for more ramp than this. Guff with coin, kind of okay. Maybe we don't actually love Hedge Maze that much, do we? I don't think so. Do we even love Mita that much? No, not really. What am I doing? We need ramp. We need early game. Forgot how to play this deck because my brain melted after the last game. Green actually melted. Is this infinite vanish Reno? Oh boy. Oh, crazy damage Reno too. Jeez. It's a downpour, baby. Not the best hand anymore. Shoot. Kind of wish I could bring that uh, Mita back. It's still not really that useful, but just this hand's bad. 24 minute game 15 minutes of animation you're not wrong honestly you're not wrong uh card draw i guess yeah hedge maze next turn's fine it's owl reno can we beat owl reno the vanishes kind of always beat me right i don't i mean i guess if the hand is full and i have like a lot of death rattles maybe Possible? Seems hard though. How do I beat Owl Reno? 
point guff. Uh, unfortunately, we go back to three mana after our three mana turn. We have crystal gem, so we only get the bonus mana the first two turns. Okay. But now guff is good. I guess I just need to like swarm and hope they don't hit owl. People who are joining late are going to be like, what the heck is owl? <laughs> because they weren't here earlier for the memes. Uh, they missed the memes. This is good gray bow action again, maybe. This guy's been so good to get the gray bow. It's really rolling. I think I might just need like big eight eights this game almost though. You know, like I think, I think stats might be more valuable, frankly. These are not very big stats, unfortunately. I think I need bigger stats. I think I need eight eights. Hey, Wolfsmoth is in chat. They made it. Oh my God. First time chatter. Wolfsmoth, GG. You're an absolute legend, dude. We talked about the whole game. What if he's just waiting for Wand? What if they're just waiting for Denathrius? And then sure enough, boom, boom. You did it, dude. Right in a row. It was beautiful. Actual legend. Why am I streaming? I think I have to give the stream over to you, man. Oh, congrats on the gifted sub. Thanks, Monk, for the gifted sub, dude. That's nice. That's awfully cool. Let's wait here. I think the mana is more important later. Rest easy, child. You are safe. All right. Yeah, the long con indeed. Yeah. Yeah, dude, you just... <laughs> You killed so many trees. They've issued a warrant for your arrest, dude. <laughs> Park Rangers are looking out for you, Wolfsworth. <laughs> Is this the last run? Definitely the last duels run. Yeah, man, it's taken three hours so far. I, we're not even done yet. There's, there's a part of me that kind of hopes I lose so I can move on. I needed to get some standard videos done. I don't really totally want to lose, but uh, all right. I really want the 10 drop here. Maybe it's so unlikely though. Should I really, I mean, the pool of units is so insane right now. That's, that's silly. Let's just grab something good. Oh, these suck. Oh God, these are bad. Oh, they're really bad. This is sort of a liability almost it takes up too much board. Oh God, what a terrible roll that was. Oh, just the worst. Oh my god, this is really not the, not the, oh, we're going to lose this game, dude. They're going to get infinite banish on us. We're going to lose. I don't even know if that's really what their deck is, but it makes sense. Could be. I don't have any threats, right? No, like Cecily, no Stoneborn. I don't have any big crazy threat cards. No, no Greybow. Everything I have is just tiny and boring. Oh, joy. Dude. I, that was dealing double damage at first. I was not sure what was happening. It was taking me a second to process this Good god, dude That hero power just did like 30 damage Because everything was frozen so it dealt double that just like murdered This actually leaves me in a better spot than I was honestly Okay with this this could be a lot worse, right? Like suddenly suddenly a decent board Grave rune is so sick if I get good minions. I need good units for it though. These suck. It's a little better, but still sucks. Uh, I really need like stoneborn for it, you know? Such a bad turn, man. Doing nothing of value here. I'm just taking forever to get a good win condition going, right? Just take like this. I'm not using. I need Stoneborn General number one. Like that would be the pick. I need to get it to stick before he does any infinite owl shenanigans, which really means infinite parrot shenanigans, if that's indeed what he's doing. Thankfully, the infinite parrot stuff is less likely when there's 35 cards, right? But still, still totally possible. Could just take them a while to find it, maybe. Okay. So we wanted to use this and this together always, right? So get a Stoneborn General, Mirage Call, well, Grave Rune it so that there's a bunch of dudes inside of it, and then you copy that so you have two with mega dudes inside of it. Okay, that's not really bad at all. These are actually doing more work than I expected, by the way. This is kind of annoying.
Exerciser is interesting again. All right, Astral Portal, I believe in you, dude. Save me. Be Ragnaros, please. Ugh, it's a 3-6. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? It's a 3-6, dude. Uh, I'm going to spend the mana on this. It's risky, but I don't care. I just need to spend some mana. We have drawn like actual idiots this game. My three-year-old nephew draws better than this, dude. Come on. I don't have a three-year-old nephew. I made that up. <laughs> I just not value this guy. Not if he has infinite parrots. I need to tempo more. Uh, if he has infinite parrot loops, I don't know if I ever can win. It's hard to stick a board. I maybe could get death battles on board or something, but I just want to get some big 8-8s eight ASAP and just whack him a few times. What is in his hand, by the way? He's playing like nothing. Just chilling on cards forever here. Can hit for eight. Mita is cool to see, I guess. Rest Rounds easy, Keeper. You are safe now. Uh, I mean, do I ever just like grave ruin the Mita? Like, is that threatening enough? Is the board suitable for that? You know. Shells up. I don't know. This seems pretty unreliable. <laughs> I've never heard his voice line. He's so angry. I just don't know if this even makes any sense at all. It's like my board is actually too full for this right now. If I, if I, I'm not going to commit that one now. I'm going to wait. Let's do this. It was too much commitment to go in on the, on the Psycho Pomp 2, right? Okay. So three meters is pretty sticky and annoying, but it's not the highest damage output, right? It's, it's only four each. It's 12 damage per turn. I'm assuming board locks are possible again. Yeah, isn't it weird how Demon Hunter got like the random quill board death rattle package? Like, I, it's not Demon Hunter at all. They just needed a place to put it, needed something for Demon Hunter, I'm sure. They're, they're like, man, there aren't a lot of Demon Hunter things in the Barrens. It's like, we need some, we need some, uh, we need some, some fun quill board action. Let's just toss these together for some reason. I buy it. It's cool with me. I don't hate it. Oh, that's a nice buff. Set up a spicy little trade. There's our dude immediately after I play the thing. Oh, that's actually a little tilting. <laughs> I just played it. Uh, I mean, I just played it, dude. I just played it. I'm so tilted. Just played the Grave Rune. He immediately appears. So annoyed, dude. So annoyed. All right, uh, we're gonna wait on any of this stuff for a bit. Let's just draw again. Board is a little cramped right now. I wanna make sure I have room for this Mina dying in particular. Hitting face just doesn't really do a lot, so let's, let's tidy up. Yeah, let's just wait, right? This summons two, I mean, I could probably put in an ectoplasm without feeling too bad. This summons three, actually. Well, no. Okay, let's just leave the board then. I just don't have a lot of time. Maybe I actually just play the 8-8. Eight, eight. I'm gonna just play the 8-8. Eight, eight. I just need to put in pressure. It's obviously a little bit of a risk and liability, but it's fine. I just, I don't have time. We can cube it later. That would be cool. Cube into Mirage Caller is actually pretty cool, too. You wanna cast a spell? I wanna cast a spell. Even as a mirage color on this is pretty decent, honestly. Trade it in right away, get some 8 8s and stuff. And then the idea here is like, let's just hope that they don't have a good freeze this turn, right? Like we're we're just hoping that, you know, we, we build a big threat board that they can't freeze for a turn or can't vanish for a turn, whatever it is. And then, you know, we just win. That's the hope.
Sadly, this did get frozen. We got nine damage here, though. And cube this, maybe. Run it in a rush. Actually, Death Rattle on this is also pretty good. This also summons two meters again, though, which is also pretty good. I think that's got to be better, right? Nice. Big damage. My deck is all meters at this point, man. Actually don't want to lock the board here, so let's wait. Too many things in hand do shenanigans for board spaces. And with all these meters already in deck and drawing cards could get me another one. Wide board freeze might be troublesome if I want to play a card. So, okay, they're down to 24. Like this is a check on board already, right? We have 24 here, so that's nice. Uh, obviously some, some key freezes would stop that, but. Oh no. That's the best target for me, actually. Shadow Flame doesn't matter too much. That's good. Damage yourself. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. <sighs> Pursuit of Justice. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Oh, dude, come on. I mean, this is a fair bit of damage. Hunter Secret. This is Explosive Trap. I'm going to be a very sad person. Hey, what was that? Oh, 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 graveyard. Yeah, okay. Don't be explosive trap, I guess. I want to hit face a lot here. <sighs> I mean, what am I doing this turn? Like, I had this giant awesome board built, and now I feel like I have nothing cool to do. Actually, kind of needed to maybe trade that off to make board space for Mita's here. <sighs> Psycho Pomp has some high rolls. Might want to play it before these, right? Let's draw a card first. See if we hit some Mita's. No Mita, okay. Let's see what Psycho Pomp does. 8-8 eight, eight guy would be cool. Oh, of course, dude. <laughs> Rascally runt it is. So it went from an awesome, unlosable board state to just pure, utter garbage. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I feel like I've just got garbage now. Turns just seem terrible. Okay. Dude got a randomly generated wildfire off Yogg, by the way. Can we talk about this? This hero power is now wildfired because of Yogg Saron. I, for I forgot to call this out. It's so insane. So insane. Okay just gonna melt my board which is honestly sort of good because i need i need space oh wow it whiffed Jeez, this too would have really helped man that sucked for him he had a really good chance there surely he has some other mechanism to deal with this though maybe he should have hit face i didn't expect any of this oh there we go okay. that's the mechanism yeah there we go so now we reload with big bodies now that i have some space try to draw into some meters first really nervous how long it's taking me to win right now though I don't think that's a good thing. Tire <laughs> Wolf Alpha, what is going on there? That's amazing. Turn it into a 4 4, sure. There's Amita, nice. Womper seems good too, actually. Yeah, let's see what Womper has in store here. Ray Bow. Okay. Now we're in business, boys. Now we're in business. Sudden wind conditions achieved. I'm gonna hit face. I think we're close to ending here. There's gonna be some really sticky boards and stuff. All right. Hopefully they don't have an answer. No vanish, no, no scabs. Wanna go soon though. I wanna make it make or break, right? We don't wanna wait too long. Let's do it. Hero powers are not a big issue here because that means we're going to get gray bows usually. Wow. Dude, they are really whiffing on these hero powers hard. This should be a lethal. Okay. Oh, thank God, dude. This Mita is stacked. Oh, actually, no. No, it's really barely lethal. I mean, it is, but it's barely. 
Only barely. Jeez. The hero powers actually could have done more for me. Wow. Okay. Scary game. Weirdly scary game. Also, another insanely long game. That was turn 15. How are these games all 30 minutes long, dude? That was a 20 minute game. I didn't even realize it. I, dude, this, this video is going to be six hours long, dude. All right, Guff is good. Graybell, honestly, is good too. We probably need to keep a Graybell. Seems like Paladin really weak to Graybell in particular. They got a lot of like Divine Shield moons and stuff. All right, double hero card. Wow. Nice to have both the Graybell and the potential Graybell reload, right? That's always handy. I, you know, it would be nice if we just played an opponent who, when they saw the wall of Greybows, thought they didn't have a chance. Everybody has believed they've had outs, which is probably true. The, the mage obviously proved they had outs, right? They, they, they made it very clear. Indeed, they did. But I need somebody who just gives up. I need I need that to be the, you know, the concede force. The rogue, I'm sure, did as well. The Reno there probably had a vanish and stuff to get out of that, so... Everybody knows they have outs, and then I don't get to do my fun. Uh, you know, I don't, it takes me 20 years to win. Womper's good. Guff is good. I think we'll be okay against this wall of stuff, probably. The single gray bow, though, does kind of need something to go with it, usually, right? Like, I don't want the gray bows. Being by themselves, so they'll need a little bit of help. Adara is a nice reset too. That's cool. Okay, makes me feel good about this. I like Cecily next turn too. It's helped me really start swinging. And then we can play something zero mana like behind the gray bow sometimes, right? That'll be good. Yeah, I think this is just call into Adara, honestly. Let's just reset with the Adara so I can start building out my stuff. Oh, there's Wand as well now. That actually makes me feel even better about the Adara, I think. <gasps> oh, we take it so I have another Grey Bow, but I'm really sad that we don't have the minion out first. But of course, you want to play it in this order, so... Just unlucky there's no minion here. Yeah, I mean, I think with a Wand in hand, for sure, Adara's fine. I found a few treasures in my time. We have everything we need now to win, too. I think Greybow will be fine because Adara is almost always going to live here. So we'll just Greybow next turn. I um, guess I could play a Groundskeeper with it, but that has taunts. So it's not as helpful. So we'll probably just Greybow. And I don't know if I hit if I hit like a small minion, that'd be nice. Okay. It's certainly not threatening at all. Oh my god. I mean, do I ever just wait to double Greybow next turn? It's not like I'm light on cool plays to make. You know what I mean? Like, I have plenty of plays here. Let's just double Greybow next turn. Cecily will burn a card if both die. Not a huge risk, though. We have everything we care about in hand already, really. I mean, I'm sure I would love some extra cards, but like a Master Spell later might be nice. Master Spell does buff the minions we know, though. Okay. Is there ever a world where I wand and Greybow? Like if he builds a big board here, just really start hitting in the face. It's hard for them to even kill the Cecily based on what we currently know. Okay. The suit and I could not have much different decks, right? There's just like mega tempo. Mine is mega greed. We have basically opposite decks. I would probably hit here. So, well, they may not want the Cecily to die though, I guess, huh? Yeah, maybe I wouldn't hit there. Glad that didn't get Divine Shield again. Okay, I think we just double grave out here. Uh, you know, it's it's technically as always a little risky. There's always wand plays and stuff, but the important thing is we have a minion chilling behind taunts. That's the number one advantage. Number two advantage, there's two at once. That's awesome. Number three advantage, we have Zyrella as a backup plan. So even if things totally fail, we can Zyrella and start over again. So uh, if they don't have wand, of course, this is going to be awesome. Sort of implies no wand right now, at least. Oh, Mirage Collar, what do you know? I'm just gonna start hitting face this game with the Grey Bows, honestly. I, I, I think we've been fiddling around too much with our opponent. 
and like trading and stuff i'm just gonna try to end and just you know get get a big board going and then eventually wand and just kill them right None may steal us. keeper of oldemon out of my wood Easy. All right. As you can see, I'm just playing fast, just getting through the gray bows. Like, I don't know, figure it out, man. <laughs> it's just, you know, uh, I, I need this. I need this to end. Oh, I need this to end, dude. Is this actually just the one turn already, baby? Depends on how much damage I think I can put out, right? 10 maybe 18 21 damage with wand might not be quite ready yet i mean it sounds like a Tyrion's cool and everything but it's not like oh i'm gonna win the game cool it's not that good of a silence uh fear not fear not Oh, I forgot that's getting buffed. Shoot, bad math suddenly. Ugh, I forgot that's getting buffed. I'm annoyed. What is real? I mean, I honestly have no idea what's right or wrong. Or oh man, I could use that master spell. We'll use master spell next turn for sure into one for the two turn kill. Should be fine. I just don't care. <laughs> just, I'm just slinging cards into stuff. I don't care. It's going to sort itself out. The desire to be optimal left me about an hour and a half ago in this run. Or three and a half hours into this one run. Longest YouTube video in history. It's like a real video, not a meme video. Barking up the wrong tree. I used to split duels runs in half, but I kind of hate doing that for videos. I don't know. I may have to. I may have. Yeah, getting bored of my own deck. Sort of. Yeah, basically. Oh, hit that 7 2, so I just killed them. Please, 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 please. Oh, I don't actually know if it was lethal or not, but felt like it was closer at least. Um. Oh my god, dude. This game just never ends. 8 11. Like, I need to deal with this. I guess I'll just mass dispel this and then one next turn, right? It's fine. I just don't want them healing anymore. Just feel silly, silly to let them heal again. This is more damage, so I'm just playing it. I just don't care. <laughs> like, I just literally just don't care. <laughs> All right. So surely Wand here will set up a lethal, right? Surely Wand will set up lethal. They'll play some big Taunt Divine Shield board or something. I'll just Wand it. We're not even a druid, Goombachi. We're a druid and a priest. No, me meager druid, sir. He went Dragon Ball Z style editing. <laughs> it's like it takes four videos to get through one game. Oh, man. Next time on Regis Gilbin. Regis has summoned 14 gray bows this game. Chat says he'll need another 49 to win. But does he know about his opponents, Denathrius? Find out next time on Regis Kilbin. That's my best Dragon Ball Z uh, ending credits voice there. I love that they're healing. This is just great. <laughs> I love that they're healing for another nine. It's delightful. Okay, do they have, like, is this another deck that's running one? Because everybody seems to believe that they just have ways to win they must have they must know something right they must know something i don't i don't know everybody is convinced they can win so they must have some card is this lethal oh god i didn't even check if it was lethal uh Zyrella is not lethal so that doesn't, cha that doesn't change okay Zyrella would be lethal next turn but uh okay more life gain that cannot possibly oh my god <laughs> it's not enough but like come on <laughs> come on heal yourself please rag rag you don't want to die don't heal yes oh no that's such a divine shield rag don't heal don't heal him rag don't heal to don't heal to 
Am I a Dragon Ball Z fan? No, I just know how the outro credits that I've watched a thousand times sound. Yeah, I mean, I used to be. A, I can't claim I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan these days, but I still like it. I still watch occasionally. As a kid, I was, though. I have a ton of Dragon Ball Z action figures. Does that count? Does that make me a fan? All right, we're going to use that to buff up our gray battles so that I can end games faster. I have seen most of Dragon Ball Super, yeah, but not all of it. Uh, I mean, these are some really high quality cards. I think we keep this removal package and look for ramp. I might keep one threat, though. I feel like I need to be a little more threat dense. Is Prey a part of the Predator series? I thought it was, unless I'm just insane. I thought it was like, uh, like OG, like, like, uh, like olden time fighting Predator. But I don't, maybe I'm just totally insane. I don't know. <laughs> Chat seems to agree. I mean, I, I just like read an art headline on an article or something. I, you know, I didn't look into it a lot. Oh boy. Guys, I don't, guys, I don't have time for this, guys. <laughs> if, if this is just an endless wave of gray bows, I don't have time. I mean, I can beat gray bows, honestly. This is a pretty good gray bow answer hand. It's a prequel. Okay, cool. Dude, they got Twig. Are you kidding me? Is this an old deck or is this. Did they get it in a bucket? Can you get Twig in buckets? Does anybody know? I don't think I know. Portal. Okay, Portal could snowball a game. That's pretty good. Might be worth tempoing a Galaka. I don't know. In case they're running Amalgamates, I'll save the Galaka. <sighs> Party Portal. Okay, this is definitely a different shape deck than ours. Like, this is not the same kind of deck for sure. Oh, boy. Please, just uh, if they make my... Dude, they're running Sphere. Uh, part of me thinks this is still an old deck, guys. This feels like an old deck to me, man. I feel like they might be playing just an old deck here. Maybe if I say old deck one more time, you guys will believe me. Uh, doesn't seem Adara worthy yet, right? That seems like an overreaction. I do sort of want to kill that, but I mean, it's not easy to do right now. I guess Adara always sort of covers my bases on that, right? Yeah, they saved it for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I don't think you run Sphere if you can't run Twig. Because you just randomly luck into Twig while running Sphere. I mean, maybe you do, but it just feels like it's an old deck, right? It seems more likely to me that it's an old deck. Oh, yeah, they do get retired. You're right. No, it can't be an old deck, can it? They get retired on res expansion resets. They really did run Sphere. You're actually right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get reset on expansion reset, so it can't. Wow, that's kind of wild. Is this worth the Adara, guys? I don't feel like it is yet still. I feel like I can wait a minute. I'm really greeting, but. A clear garden for a clear mind. If I kill this twice, I lose my hand, but I'm, I'm willing to risk it. You can play the Adara? I can, yeah, I trade this in. I get a coin and a coin in hand. It's seven mana, right? I think I was at five. Wasn't I at five? Yeah. Yeah, I'm at five. I forgot to clear portal. Oh no, I don't clear portal. No, I did forget to. Originally I was going to, but we're playing Adara next turn always, I think. So I'm just saying why clear the portal? We just draw a portal later, right? Better to leave it up. Lucenbark's not really a great Adara target, but He's not bad either. I do want to get rid of the meter though, for sure. Yeah, this is fine. I found a few treasures in my okay. I mean, portal's not great for us to be fair, but I was going to get more stuff maybe. But do I want more stuff? I don't know. That's really still debatable. Maybe. I... Okay. Immediately terrible timing, but we can punish with wands. Um. Yeah, I mean, we have to, right? It's not up for debate. <laughs> they really, really punished that Adara. They were ready, weren't they? They were ready. Uh, they were Elise, right? Yeah, they were Elise. They were Elise. So they have a uh, potential Zyrella to get Greybows back. Um, okay. It's getting kind of hairy already. I mean, we got through the crazy, you know, initial burst of that of that twig, but 
they have so much mana as i'm getting ready to say like it's just an endless wave of mana you know oh dude come on dude they hit the psycho pump graybow dude are you kidding me i guess actually almost nothing had really died huh because i i did move i mean the plated beetle was in the pool but it might have been a 50 50 because i i i move i i i uh i you know poofed everything else okay so i do have my own dude i can't guys i can't do this i i just don't have the patience for this i'm gonna die if i do this really two eight manas man <laughs> stupid i gotta find my own gray bow i think here i i don't know what else to do to win I traded that once. Why did it still say one? Do I have two of those, maybe? <sighs> I just, I, I want to just give up, dude. Like, <laughs> I just, guys, I just can't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna die. My body will collapse, dude. I can't believe they had the tr three boards in a row, man. You certainly feel bad about the Adara in hindsight, but at the time, you know, I, I don't think we had the data to say that was a bad decision yet. Because we thought we had the wand backup plan, right? And the wand backup plan paid off. It's just that it immediately got repunished. <sighs> okay, so we're just kind of in stall mode for a minute. I don't know what to do. I mean, killing the Graybow just adds more damage in the short term. I just need to hit my own Graybow waves, but they might have wand and Adara as well, right? We haven't seen their treasures. So if they have an Adara, I never win against Graybow, Graybow, right? Unless I get, oh. Oh, am I just down on board? Oh, please let this mercy, let this be over, please. Is there mercy in this universe? Oh, there is. Oh, sweet Jesus, thank you. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so relieved. Oh. God, dude. I do this all over that. I have to, I'm gonna pee my pants. I have to play standard. I need, I have to have a video for tomorrow for standard. I don't want to, have to do a dual video because they take forever to edit. I need a standard video. So I'm, guys, I'm going to take... That was a cool run for sure. Great run. Super cool. Glad to see Cecily do some cool stuff. Great, great run. But I have to... I have to take a pee break and then I'm going to come back and I have to... I have to play standard a little bit.